Hello. We're back with some Harvest Moon. I'm sorry for the late start. There was a, a little bit of a problem with my capture card. Um, hubris hit me. I started the stream. I was like, oh, I'll just turn on the intro and then, you know, grab a drink and then sit down and switch the switch scene and then when i looked at the switch scene there was no picture coming through <laughs> and so i had to try to figure out which of the many cables coming out of my computer are uh is connected to the elgato capture cards and so i had to like make sure it was all connected but i found it and it got through so everything is good now everything is good um, okay, so I know also I've been saying for a couple days like, oh, I'm gonna play some Harvest Moon off stream because it's kind of boring. We're kind of in a lull. Um, and immediately last night I was gonna play some Harvest Moon and I immediately got this event. So I was like, well, I guess I'm playing this on stream. <laughs> so we have uh, Anne's event. I think this is her like five heart event or something. Uh, I think this is what this is. Um, so we're going to have to find her weathercock. The one on top of her roof. It was blown away by the strong wind last night. A very strong wind. I suppose it came here, but please let me know if you find it. Okay. Hello, dog. Um, I did check the weather before I came out. Oh, there's the weather cock. Here it is. Um, so uh, yeah, when I was playing this, I ran around looking for it because then I wouldn't have to run around looking for it on stream. Um, if you... If you uh, touch the... If you pick it up, it automatically teleports you to where Anne is and then it... Um, and then it makes you go to bed. <laughs> so we're not gonna touch it. We're not gonna touch it quite yet. 
So we'll just do our, our chores. Oh my god, how many chickens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I will save one egg for Anne later. Jack Coro, hello! Good afternoon. We have some good old Harvest Moon today. I cannot count. I have to like, I made the mistake of not grouping these straw piles and now I can't count how many there are. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, looks like 12 is the max. Okay, I'm going to take this to Anne. Take this egg over to Anne. We're gonna go say hi to all the girls. Autumn is dating time, I guess. I haven't found your thing yet, but here's an egg to tide you over. It looks delicious. You can't find it. Uh -huh. No, she's sad. I did find it. <gasps> I'm, oh, there's special dialogue. I made that weathercock for my wife, so it's just like a memento for Anne. She's usually cheerful, but now she's so depressed. Oh, no. That's some skills, actually. Making a weather vane. Oh, four hearts. Oh, so I guess, is this just a random event? It's not like the five heart event? Interesting. Well, let's talk to all the girls and then we'll go ship some wild mushrooms. Hard to look after animals. We must always be careful so they don't get sick. Hey, do you like sweets? Yeah. I should bake some sweets. I haven't baked anything in a really long time. Grandpa is so strict. Grandpa is so strict. Okay. Hello, Maria. I somehow love the autumn scenery. Somehow. Excuse me, do you love kids? Sure. I love kids too. My dream is to live with a lot of kids around me. Please do your best work. Okay. The mountains this season are beautiful. There are many fruits and nuts too. Autumn to winter is an off season for us because there's nothing to sell. Is that, the, is that a thing that people say to other people? Is that they want a lot of kids? I guess it must be. I feel like I always see it in... Mushroom. Don't eat. Let's sell the mushroom. I see it. I feel like I see it a lot in like anime. <laughs> like trashy romance anime. And like one of the... One of the Love interest is always like, I don't know. They always say stuff like that. They're like, oh, I want to be a family. Or I want to have a family. Big family. And maybe that maybe this is just me being an introvert, but I'm like, oh, why would you want to live with that many people, even if they're like children? Too many people. Oh, it feels good to play Harvest Moon. So chill. So repetitive. Oh, what time is it? Thursday. Ripper's coming soon. Okay. There isn't really a reason to... I forgot what my routine was in the fall. Oh, I need to feed my cow! I need to take care of my cow. <gasps> I just remembered before at the end of last stream, we like saved the starving. We saved the starving uh, uh, sprite. Oops. We saved the starving harvest sprite. And then they said, look in the look in the shed. And then I never looked in the shed. So let's see what we got. What did we get? Oh, 
Oh, we got a, we got, oh no, wait. Is this what they gave us? Oh no, they upgraded our hoe? Is This is new, right? Golden hoe. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, it is the gold hoe. It has been a while since I've played this game. I, I do not remember what I have. I wish there was a good way to tell whether or not the grass is ready. This does not look ready. Is this ready? No, this is all not ready. Okay. What is my goal right now? 500 for the next upgrade. I have enough. So I guess I'm raising my cow. I want to get a second cow soon. And I should take my dog inside. And I know there's going to be an event where somebody's going to ask me for 20,000 gold. So I guess I just want to save up money. By by selling mushrooms. Is that my plan to sell mushrooms? Let's see what else we got. Take it. Let's take a look at the Let's take a quick look at Ushinotane. Oh, and the next house upgrade is 10,000. This is required before you can have kids. Okay, so we're not in any rush for that. Mm. Uh, we bought the sprinkler, bought everything else. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just, we're just in dating mode. We want a chicken and we want a dating mode. We need to save up money to buy a bunch of grass. I don't know if the grass will come back in the spring. Yeah, I don't know if the grass will come back in the spring. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I guess we're just in dating mode. Dating and money making. Let's go to sleep. It's going to be raining. When's the harvest festival? Eighth of fall. Harvest festival is on 12th. Bring a food item. Okay. I have to bring a full moon plant or a large fish. Full moon plant or a large fish? I wonder if fishing is more lucrative than putting in mushrooms. Hello, dog. If it is raining... <gasps> Why did I go to sleep? I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I forgot to give Anne her, her thing. Hold on. No. No, we're not going to sleep. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the event. I completely forgot about it. I was like, day's over. I think it will still work if I do it right now, even though it's nighttime. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not hanging on to my memory, but it's so precious for me. Thank you. Aw, I got a kiss. How nice the young people are. Yes, I want her cheerful all the time. Sure. <laughs> I got it. I really want to know what the original Japanese is. Okay, now we're going to bed. And my dog is safely inside. I'm going to bed now. Good night. Why does this make me go to sleep? <laughs> like, ugh. Really tired from lugging that thing around. Okay, so we got... TV. Okay, it will be sunny. Give the dog a hug. And... Yep. 
chip some eggs. Okay. Oh, one thing I've been thinking about recently, this is not related to Harvest Moon. Um, as you may know, people may know, I, I do play Final Fantasy XIV. And I was thinking about whether I should stream it, especially because uh, the new expansion's coming out. So there's going to be a whole lot of story. But I don't know, streaming an MMO... MMO playing seems like a whole beast. Ah, oh, chickens. Chickens are blocking me. I don't know. And I kind of wonder, like, if, if, a very big if, like, if my streaming stuff ever really, like, takes off, would I, will I regret having made my, um, my like Final Fantasy account public <laughs> because then I think it'll be hard to be play to play comfortably. I don't know, but I also think it'd be fun to react to the story on stream. So I was thinking about it. The uh, Final Fantasy fourteen fan fest was this past weekend. It was on Friday and Saturday. I was sort of watching it. Oh, there's the there's the weather rain. It's like spinning around. Um, is Anne here? Hello, sir. I'm here to meet your daughter. Hello. I hate the rain. It feels depressing. I like when it pours. Me too. Five hearts. Okay. What is the maximum number of hearts? I think it is 10. I don't know if the like girls have more than one event. Do they? Uh, this does not this does not say fences are easy to break after rain and snow please make new fences after knocking the broken fences down thank you um but yeah the final fantasy fan fest was this past weekend I did not go. I actually had the opportunity to physically attend. Oh, where am I going? I want to go talk to the other girls, actually. Is it possible to talk to the other girls? Um, I had the opportunity to attend. They actually had um, a lottery for the tickets because it's so, like, in demand. Um, and we actually, my my partner and I, we actually got... We actually got, um, we, we won the lottery to get tickets, but then we decided not to. Oh, Ellen doesn't like me very much. <laughs> um, but we decided not to because, I don't know, trying to limit our, like, we're not being, like, 100%, like, abstaining from crowd, crowded, like, events or anything, but, um, you know. We, we gotta pick and choose. We can't just be, like, going to events all the time. Trying to reduce our risk by just doing it in moderation. So we decided not to go. Um, but, uh, but it is streamed. Most of it is streamed except for the music concerts. So I've been, I watched a bit of the stream... Hello, Maria. I've never been in her room. It's a welcome rain. We have a lot of rain here in the spring. On the diary. Two hearts. Okay. Um, and the first, the very first thing that they show at every fan fest is the new trailer for the new expansion. Um, a new expansion is going to be called Dawn Trail. And it looks very cool. Like the new setting that they've introduced is like 
uh, it's like South America themed. At least that, that's what chat was saying. I don't, I don't trust myself to be able to recognize like cultural things accurately, but that's what chat was saying. Um, and so it seems really cool. And it also might be kind and also might have Final Fantasy X crossover stuff. Which I'm really excited for. They did show like a not not player character races, but like a new race that will just show up as NPCs that that is from Final Fantasy X. They're called Pelu Pelu. Um, and it's kind of funny because I never I, I played Final Fantasy X and I did not remember these people existing at all. <laughs> so I don't I don't remember what role they played. But apparently they're gonna be in Final Fantasy fourteen. I don't know, a lot of interesting story stuff, I think. They introduced some characters. They're gonna introduce new classes. Um so there's a lot to be excited about and kinda hype. Ape. Yeah, there's some there's some NPCs that seem like they're gonna be playing a little bit more of a, a like a sidekick role in the story. Um, there's a character named Aaronville who showed up in Endwalker, which is the previous expansion. He was in the trailer. So I wonder if he's going to be kind of one of our traveling companions, which is kind of cool because I, I don't, I wasn't expecting that, but I think he's like a really cool character. So it'll be nice for him to like, oh, uh, there's no more opportunity for shipping things. Okay. We'll just uh, take care of the cow. You grown up yet? You look fine today. You need food. I can't tell if she's in a. I can't tell if she's a grown up cow or not. <laughs> Do you need food, Moo? I put one in there just in case, but I don't. Oh, fodder is so precious. Can't waste it. She looks small. You look fine today? She... Is she grown up? Did the dialogue change? Can I... Oh, I guess I can try milking her and see if that helps. Still... No, still baby? Oh, okay, cool. Excellent. My chickens can eat a little longer. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. What is my cat doing? My cat's trying to go inside of my backpack. <laughs> what are you doing, Marvel? Oh, well. He can go in there, I guess. Uh, That's it, I guess. Oh, let's go talk to Eve. Got a date. Got to talk. Unlike me, Pete has a social life. And the social life consists of only talking to the five marriageable ladies. There we go. Oh, it's so unfestive without the music. You came here in this rain? I'm so glad. Poor Ellen. Found the diary. Okay, Eve has five, Anne has five. Ellen and Maria and Nina are all like two or three. I don't know if there's any, is there any advantage to raising the girl's hearts any more than five? Or does it go up more than five? I'll look this up. Let me look this up. Harvest Moon. SNES. Max Hearts. Oh. Oh. You need four hearts to, to get their events. You only view heart events before you'll get married. 
The ladies' man ending requires at least 300 affection, which is about six hearts for all the girls, as well as 200 happiness. Uh, all girls' affections will contribute to your final ranch master score. Uh, oh. Oh, so if you want the theory, if you want the maximum score for the best ending, you need to raise the girls' hearts to about eight hearts. Oh. Oh. All right. I guess I will continue. I shall continue. Continue dating the girls. Oh, the, oh, no. The dog, the dog barked. My fence is broken. Oh, but nobody's out. None of my plants are outside, so it's fine, I guess. Sunny. Great. Dog. I'll keep talking about Final Fantasy XIV because I have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> While this is while the routine farming is going on, um, uh, yeah. So I, I was watching the keynote. Um, I have no idea what the new classes will be. There's a tradition where uh, Yoshi P, who's the director and producer of Final Fantasy 14 and also Final Fantasy 16, um, he wears a shirt to like. He wears a specific. Or, like, the shirt he wears, he chooses it to, as a hint for what the next classes, like, the next player classes will be. Um, and he, it was funny, because he was wearing, like, an overshirt over his t-shirt. And then he was like, oh, I'm so hot. I wonder what, I should take this overshirt off. And he took it off. And he was wearing, in a, he was wearing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt underneath. And I was like, huh? Because there's already a ninja class, so it can't be a ninja. And so, like, w w I, I don't know what it would be. I don't know what it would be. A turtle class? <laughs> you can become a turtle now? Some people were thinking maybe, like, Beastmaster or something? Because it's, like, animal related? But yeah, I've, I have no idea. Some people are saying green mage, and I don't know if that's a joke. I don't, I don't, I think that's a joke. I don't know if green mage is like an actual thing in the Final Fantasy universe. Uh. Oh, it's Saturday. The girls are going to be all over the place. Where are the girls? Okay, Ellen is in the yard on Saturdays, and Anne is outside. Okay, that's good to know. Do our best. Okay, Ellen's here. My uncle liked you. Please make friends with him, okay? Okay. Oh, my, my, my uncle is the, or her uncle, not my uncle. Her uncle's the, uh, the animal guy, I guess. So kids, here's this guy waiting to date Nina's mom. Where is Maria? Oh, there she is. There's Nina's mom. Maria's inside. I love church because it seems to wash my mind. Hello, midwife. Oh, harvest festival is soon. Oh no, the harvest festival is going to be a lot of save scumming, I think. I got a fish. I gotta get a fish. Is there a difference between a large fish and a normal fish? I don't know. Where's Nina? Nina is not here. Um. But yeah, I don't know. Not Ninja. Maybe Beastmaster. Maybe Green Mage, if that's actually a thing. So who knows? Oh, and there's gonna be there's gonna be two jobs as well. I'm not sure. He might Yoshi P might wear a different shirt as a hint at the next fan fest. We shall see. Uh 
Um, but the the other thing that I thought was really cool, um, the on, the only other panel that I managed to catch online was the um, uh, it was sort of like a retrospective, like a po post mortem of the Endwalker story, and they had the the main writer of the Endwalker expansion story kind of talking about why she wrote like certain things the way they did, um, and a lot of it was like calling back to earlier earlier. Uh, like dialogue and character lines and stuff like that from earlier scenes. Um, I thought that was really cool. Um, and it kind of made me want to go pl go play the replay the earlier parts of the story with a bit more um, like attention, because I did not pay attention to the earlier parts of the story like at all. I was actually very grumpy about the about the story for ARR because um, I had just come from playing Guild Wars Two, and there wasn't and Final Fantasy fourteen didn't have a lot of the quality of life stuff that Guild Wars Two had back then, and so I was like, "Where's where? Like I can't tell where I am on the mini map, and like the eighth, like the fast travel things don't have." labels and I don't know where I'm going and, and um so I was like playing it but I was like <laughs> complaining about it the whole time um and I was really also annoyed with like the 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 writing in the first game in my opinion not everyone thinks this but um was kind of I don't know it's very long-winded um like very expositional Um, actually, it's the same problem that I have with, like, it, it's the same reason I can't get into, like, the uh, Genshin Impact and, like, Honkai Star Rail. Like, the writing, I don't know. Like, the character dialogue is, like, really just not my style, I guess. Um, but Final Fantasy XIV changed a lot over the years. But anyway, I, like, really did not, like, pay attention to the first expansion. So I wonder if I should just go back and, like, replay it. Actually, that might be a good idea for a stream, is to kind of, like, replay the story and, like, comment on stuff. That might be kind of fun. I really enjoy the uh, Final Fantasy XIV lore. Um, and I like the characters. Oh, my God. Oh, is this, like, a... Wow, okay. I didn't... I didn't think this toolbox was actually interactable, but it is. <gasps> I forgot this door was open! Can I make friends with the harvest sprites? I'm still kind of, oh, they're not even here. I'm still kind of unclear about whether NPCs have like affection levels. Perhaps not, maybe not. Okay. They do not in this one, okay. I don't need to worry about it. Good. Good. I've got enough stuff going on in my life. I'll wait till I get 25,000 and then I'll buy another cow. Oh, wait. I can make the cow preg pregnant. But will that take like a long time? Hmm. Tenth of fall. Two more days to the festival! So excited! Okay. Okay. Whoa. So many eggs. Whoa, I just unlocked a memory. There is a game that I used to play as a in elementary school? Well, it's not really a game. It was just like a... I don't know what it was. I don't know what category of thing it is. Um, kind of kind of like a hand clapping game. You know, like you, you like repeat like a, a rhyme or something. Like you and like another kid. You like repeat a rhyme and then there's like a, a set clapping pattern that you're supposed to do. Um, there's something like that, 
Um, and all I can remember is that it began with crack an egg on your head and you would like, like the other, per like one person would like kind of like hit their hand on the other person's head and say crack an egg on your head. And then there was like some other part to it that I can't remember. But I remember like I did it a lot because I thought, I thought it kind of felt good getting, <laughs> getting my head hit. It was like a head massage, I guess. I wish I could remember what the rest of it was. I had totally forgotten that I had done that. I wonder, I wonder where it came from. I've literally never heard of it anywhere else. Maybe it was something local to like my elementary school. Take an egg to church, give it to Anne. <gasps> There's a blue feather, but not yet. It is not time. Anne, I brought you an egg. Ellen is such a good kid. He's like, so trying to like, <laughs> Make sure her her dad is like doing well, even though he's sort of a poop head. Oh, I just realized is Mario the one playing the piano? So talented. Let's pray at the statue. Talk to the priest. What's up, priest? When people when you are kind to people, they give you kindness in return. Sometimes. But that, that shouldn't stop you from trying. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you doing here? Anything can happen in our lives just in case you better save money. That's the animal guy, right? Who's Nina? Nina's so hard to find. Get some mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom. Looks a little dangerous. Dun, dun, dun. I should look up what the what the best ending is. And like I'm sure there's something that lists the requirements. I'll do it when night falls, when time freezes. Looks a little dangerous. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's already. <gasps> it's your clock. Can I squeeze in one more mushroom? Man, I'm gonna forget how other Harvest Meat games work after playing this one. Oh, you know, I should play Harvest Moon 64 on stream. I think that'd be really fun. Because it's been actually several years, I think, since I last played it. So I probably don't remember as much as I think I do. It'd be good to refresh. Oh, I think the shipping guy already came. <laughs> it will. Pretty quick, quick pace too. Yeah, I remember Harvest Moon 64 was also pretty frantic. Okay, but I do remember some glitches like uh, that'll help me. That'll help me out. Harvest Moon SNES best ending requirements. Ultimate ending. You must be married, have two kids, obtained all power berries, high happiness level, He's one of each animal, at least 10,000 gene, hugged your dog at least 100 times. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, I only need... 
should sell some of my chickens. I only need one chicken for the best ending. Oh no, I've already ruined the... <laughs> I think I've already lost my chance. Because you need all of the power berries. And I'm fairly certain I missed the snowdrop flower one. Because it seems like I was reading up on it because I didn't have enough money to buy it at the festival that that one time earlier the, in the year. I'm fairly certain that's the only time you can buy it. <laughs> so, oh well. Harvest Whistle, what on earth is that picture? What is that? Ladies and gentlemen, have you decided what to take the festival? The festival is held at the public square tomorrow. It ends at 3 p.m. So don't be late. What is this picture? It looks like a bishop, like a chess piece, plus a bubblegum balloon. Hmm. Well, whatever. Oh, my God. The Harvest Festival is tomorrow. I'll stop work earlier and come to the public square at 3 p.m. If you have is livestock, you should feed them before. And I'll put something, I'll bring something to put in the stew. Goodbye. I see the bubble gum. Yeah, it's not just me, right? It's AI art. They fired all their designers, and so now this is what they have to put up on the news channel. Ugh. Ah, ah. No, I missed the ultimate ending. So sad. It's okay. And I think, I think in this game you can get mul multiple endings, right? Like uh, it'll it'll play everything that you have met the requirements for. I think that sounds familiar to me. Chicken, move. You want your food or not? Move. Ah, oh, there's so many of them. I should I should sell like one or two of my chickens. There's too many. I don't need all of you. Okay, egg. And time. It's Monday, so Anne is in her usual spot. Here. Ow. Here. Have you decided what to take to the festival? I want to complete my machine and present it in public. Oh. Cool. Wonder what it is. The festival ends at three o'clock, so you must go by then. The sky is colored red by the sun at three o'clock. Thanks for the tip. Hey, Ellen. I will take something very delicious tomorrow, so please look forward to it. Please look forward to it. Oh, Eve is not in the square today. She's sometimes there. Hey, Maria. It's the Harvest Festival tomorrow. Are you gonna take anything, or...? How about you? Well, that's good. I wonder if herbs or spices will be okay. That sounds great. I would love a seasoned soup of some kind. Okay. Oh my god, there's endings for... for shipping more than 200 pieces of each crop? <gasps> Is that a, a, that seems like a lot. That means you have to ship a hundred of each per year? Or no, less than that, because 
it's two, the game is two and a half years long, so what, like 30 or 40 per year. Actually, that doesn't sound that bad. Maybe I did do that. Oh no, but I only shipped one, one crop from each season. Interesting. Monday, it's four o'clock now, shipper's coming soon, okay. Hello, good girl, good girl, Moo. Ooh. He's ready to cut. No. This ready to cut? Oh, yes. Grass. I'm rich. I'm rich in grass. These are not ready yet. Okay, now let's go talk to Eve and we will wrap up for the night and tomorrow we will attempt to bring a large fish to the festival. I don't know what the difference is between a large fish and a regular fish. Hello Eve. The Harvest Festival tomorrow. I love singing and dancing. It's exciting. So exciting. You know, I used to I used to be really embarrassed about dancing. When I was in high school, um I only went to one school dance. Uh and I didn't do anything. <laughs> Like, I, I had a date and everything, and I just, like, sat there. It was really boring. I was a very boring date. I feel kind of bad about it. Because um, I was, like, kind of embarrassed. But I was sitting there. It wasn't just me sitting there. We were. I was sitting there with other people that I knew that were also embarrassed about dancing. So all of us nerds were just sitting around, like, why are we here? <laughs> um, and then I think at my, my cousin's wedding when I was younger... Um, I also didn't dance, even though they, they wanted people to dance, but not a lot of people were dancing, because I guess it was, it was a lot of older relatives and stuff, so, I don't know, they just weren't that into it. Um, but I did, they kind of really wanted people to be on the dance floor, it was, like, awkwardly empty, so I just awkwardly stood there along with my siblings, <laughs> and just kind of, like, wiggled around. But, um... I don't know, but I like, but recently it's been a lot more, I don't know, I've just been like, whatever. Like friends, at friends' weddings and stuff. Just, just doing it. Just going, going ahead and wiggling around. More confidently. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of hard to imagine now. Now I'm like, eh, there's nothing to be embarrassed about, whatever. But yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what it is that changed. Oh, I gotta take care of the chickens, and then I gotta go... Okay, so an egg, apparently, is not enough for the power berry at the Harvest Festival. So, we'll just ship all this, because I don't think I can... Yeah. I don't think I can give presents to the girls today. I 
need to get a fish or a full moon plant. And I don't know what that is. That might not be accessible to me right now. Uh. Oh, God, I dropped the grass on the floor. What a waste. Time travel. Everything's fine. Oh, thank goodness for time travel. This is like the perfect way to play Harvest Moon. <laughs> There's a lot of accidentally throwing stuff on the ground in Harvest Moon. This is perfect. Oh, <gasps> she's so big now! Oh my god, wait, I need to... I need to grab the milker from the shed before I go in there. She's big! Oh my goodness. No wonder you could tell. I was like, is she grown up yet? And y'all are like, no. It's so obvious. She's so big. What a big girl. Hello. Big girl, you look fine today. Brush, brush. Okay, let's see what... Oops. Okay, will this work? Milk. <gasps> I got a milk. Cool. Ship the milk. Okay, and then I can grab a grass. First milk! Good job, Moo! What a good girl you are. Oh, she's eating. Cute. <laughs> okay. Hug dog? Oh god, what time is it? Seven o'clock? Okay. I need to get a fish. I need to get a fish. Sir, give me your finest fishing rod. Yes. Now we wait. I actually don't enjoy fishing minigames very much. Well, I know a lot of people find them very relaxing. But I, I get real antsy just like waiting and sitting. <laughs> Johan Mikes, welcome! Yeah, I was thinking about you today. I was like, I was like, oh, he's gonna want... I, he, I was like, I wonder if they're gonna show up. Because I, I decided not to do an art stream today. I just decided to do a game stream. So I wonder... You always stop by on, on Sundays when I'm streaming. So I wondered if you'd show up. Fisherman, I'm going into battle and need your finest fishing rod. Traveler, you aren't strong enough for my fishing rods. It's true. Okay, here's a fish. Now, wait until it's done. Yeah, you showed up! Thank you! I hope that was a large fish. I don't think there's any difference between a large and a small fish, right? <gasps> oh, I did it! I got a power bear! Yay! Excellent. How's the farm doing? Farm's doing great! We, uh... What happened? Our cow just grew up. Today's the first day of her adulthood um oh let's have some berry juice if you think you are a man drink up oh there's no fish size in this one oh okay F man ushinotana has a lot of like n not correct pumpkin pie yes please this year's pumpkins are sweet aren't they um, yeah, we got our cow. She's she's grown up. Eat some sweets. Um, we're getting to Harvest Festival. We got um, Anne's Heart event. Well, let's talk to these guys. Tasty rice balls and dumplings. Won't you try some? They are all. They are all what? They are all what? Good day today. Here's some famous dumpling from the north. You want some? It's 300 G. What? their benefit to eating this don't say no one bite and it makes you 100% happy oh does it maximize does it maximize happiness should I spend 300 300 is not that much okay increased happiness are you cutting grass you can cut it by autumn so try to cut as much as you can otherwise you will panic if you don't have feed to give the cows and chickens I will panic indeed 
Where are you going to ask to dance? You're going to... No, forget it. What? <laughs> I don't need to say the Japanese version of the juice is a full beer. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. 64 is like that too. The fruits of the southern country taste good, but they smell strong and I don't like that. The southern country. What is the southern country? I haven't talked to Anne's dad yet. It's delicious. You know, I don't have a wife. No, I'm not saying Anne's dishes are bad. In fact, they taste pretty good once you get used to it. Uh-oh. Anne's dad throwing shade. Ta-ra! It's an auto-harvesting machine. Switch it on. Okay. Uh-oh. It killed me, Anne. Sorry, failed. <laughs> Love the human-sized corn. Yeah, this is like this human-sized pumpkin. I forgot what this was called for a second. And a half human sized onion? Human sized grapes? Human sized bottle of wine? Can I talk to you? Okay. Was it delicious? Yes. What's in here? Can't get more soup. Okay. Hello. Mine was flowers. It was fairly good. What was flowers? Did she put flowers in the soup? Is that what she's saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mine was flowers. It was fairly good. What? Greg, good morning. Welcome to the stream. Can we start dancing now? If you haven't done all the thing you wanted to do, hurry up and do it right now. Let's dance. Now pick your partner. <gasps> Who should I pick? I want, I want to pick somebody who's not, who's kind of hard to raise. I th I'll pick Maria. Because she's the one that I have the hardest time raising the heart events, or the heart levels with. But I shall, I should dance with Maria. The other girls I can manually raise their heart events, I think. Hi Maria, I don't really like you, but for the purposes of completion, I am dancing with you. So... Don't get any ideas, okay, Maria? <laughs> this is just for this is just for completionist's sake. Except for the fact that I've already ruined my perfect game by not having all the power bars. Alright, Maria? One time thing, alright? I'm just I'm just being clear with my boundaries. Ruthless. Gotta be ruthless. Love means nothing in the face of Perfect endings. Okay. I think we don't have any Maria's. Oh no, I'm sorry. If you like Maria, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's, I'm, sh she's, I'm sure she's a fine young lady. She's a fine young lady and she has her charms. I should sell some chickens. I need to, I can't be buying all this grass. Telling my girl I'm emotionally cheating on her for completely innocent. <laughs> I mean, if she's a true soulmate, she'll understand. She'd be like, oh, is this a harvesting thing? Yeah, I get it. I get it. I know you'll choose me in the end. Because you, you do come back in the end, right? You have to. A true soulmate will understand, yeah. I wonder if I can get to the end of fall by the end of the stream. Maybe that's my goal. I'll try to get to winter. Oh, there's so many chickens. I should sell... What day is it? Can I put the grass back? No. Mm -hmm. Should I sell the chicken? Should I sell the chicken? Maybe tomorrow. I wonder if there's an each a marriage candidate tier list. That would be a silly short stream. Ooh, like across all the games. But, I mean, that would be fun. So I, I think maybe after I finish A Wonderful Life, maybe I should do that because then I'll have, because I really only know the, um, the Mineral Town girls to any, like, like to any, like, significant degree. Thank you, it looks delicious. 
Seems a little different from the plan I had, but no big deal. I like, see, I respect her, um, respect her per persistence and her enthusiasm. That's a girl I like. I wonder if our daughter Anne can get married living like that. Living like what exactly, sir? I think your daughter's great. Um, but yeah, that's a good idea, Jack Coro. Maybe, maybe after, maybe after, uh, I finish A Wonderful Life. Then I'll have, like, I can, I can rank the Super Nintendo Girls and the, uh, the different versions of the Mineral Town Girls. Oh, I guess, I guess with Mineral Town and, and A Wonderful Life, I could do, I could do the Bachelors as well. Forget, I forgot that there, that's a thing. And then I could do the A Wonderful Life Bachelors and Bachelorettes. I think those are the only games that I... that I've played to any, like, significant extent. But I think that would be fun. A discussion. Who's the top tier... top tier bachelor slash bachelorette. Oh, and then maybe doing a separate one from Rune Factory? Maybe after I play uh, Rune Factory 3, because I've only ever played Rune Factory 4. So I only really know those characters, but um, I do have Rune Factory 3 Special pre-ordered, <laughs> so I'll be playing that later this year if uh, I'm able to finish A Wonderful Life in time. Oh, so many farming games. Not enough time. Not enough time. Oh, I gotta, I gotta ship the milk. Hello, Moo. Good girl. Forgot I need to talk to the cow in the morning now. There you go. Uh, time is it? Okay, we'll make our way to visit Eve. Cows in this game are the most adorable thing. They're so cute. I love the way the animals look in this game. They're just like the, the, the correct, they're just the right amount of like round. And like, and they still have kind of expressive faces. They are so cute. These people all say the same thing, right? I just can't help myself worrying about Anne so much. Mr. Jojo, you are of the same generation of Anne. What do you think of her? Oh, sorry. Maybe I'm a little confused. Confused about what? I'm going to marry your daughter. If she wants. First, assume a spherical cow. Spherical. Um, are there any cow Pokemon? Oh yeah, there is. Milk tank. Oh dang, I thought it was on like a. I thought I had invented something. Leg invented something extraordinary and novel. Milk tank. It is a uh, the mill tank exists. Mr. Jojo sounds like a zoo pet name. <laughs> I call my cat Mr. Marble all the time. Why am I going up here? I say, hey, Mr. Marble, what are you doing? I know less than 30 Pokemon by name and mill tank is one of them. <laughs> it's got a reputation for sure. Mill tank needs to live. The horror of gold and silver, if you got stuck in that gem, you you never played Pokemon for real. Yeah. Or you never, if you never got stuck in that gym, you never played Pokemon for real. A hundred percent. I remember that. It's like, hor especially when you're like a kid, it's like horrifying. You're like, oh my God. 
We're like, what is this? I thought it was playing a game for children like me. And now I'm getting my ass handed to me by this by this cow. How do I stop it? All right. Okay, I think we're good. Hello. Uh, let's continue. I'm not going to bother fixing the fences yet because we do not have any crops, so I don't think we need to. When's the next, um, the next festival? Next festival is... Festival, festival. Where is the festival wiki page? I should just look at the wiki page. I think it's a little bit more up to date than the Ushinotane pages. Um, the next festival is on the 20th. What on earth? The egg festival? Egg festival? Oh, I can win a power berry at the egg festival. Okay. I'm ready. I'm readying myself for victory. A gym where you do realize spamming A every battle just does not cut it. So true. When you're a kid and you're just like, oh yeah. Like, attack, attack, attack. I still play Pokemon like that though. I think Moo just clipped a little bit through the fence. Milk. Milk. Okay. Here's some food. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. I need to get a second one. <gasps> oh, I can make her... I, I can get the, uh, the miracle potion and get another cow. I'll do that. I'll sell my chicken. I'll sell a chicken and get a cow. Well, just one chicken. This, this is too many chickens. <laughs> I, this is, I, I don't need so many chickens because usually in other games you can like, I like to like take a bunch of eggs to give out to villagers <laughs> as presents because a lot of them like the eggs, but there's no point to that because I can only hold one egg at a time. Do you still hold down when throwing Pokeballs? Oh my gosh, not anymore, but if, I think because of the, but I, I, I think if I held like a physical Game Boy in my hands, I think I would <laughs> just from like muscle memory. Um, I don't do it anymore because the, the switch, I don't know, the switch feels different enough that maybe my, it just doesn't like, I don't think to do it, but um, I did do that all the time when I was a, a wee Pokemon trainer. Okay, so let's. Get this egg. I'm gonna sell one chicken, get a cow miracle potion. And there's actually a glitch. There is a cow glitch, I think, where the cow will give birth in like three days instead of a whole season or something. So I need to look that up. Yeah, if you use a miracle potion and a medicine, your cow will give birth in three days. Yes, that is correct. Okay, thank you for looking that up. Ah, I didn't want you to go in there. Oh. I scared my cat by screaming. Sorry. He's just trying to sleep while I talk incessantly into the microphone. Here you go. Okay. Hello, Ellen. Do you like sweets? I love them. You save 1000G over just buying the cow outright and lose only three days of milk. Yes. Uh, let me sell the cow. Oh, I have to talk to him here. Or sell a chicken, not sell a cow. Sell a chicken. Okay. Let me buy these. Medicine for the cows. The price is, mmm, a thousand G. <laughs> so is there a price tag on this or not? Sir, are you fleecing me? Sir, are you fleecing me? Miracle potion, good luck. 4,000 gene total, a little expensive. Buy it. Okay, so wait, I'm gonna look this up because I 
I'm scared I'm going to do this wrong. Is it the miracle potion and then the medicine? Miracle potion and then the medicine. Uh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, um, cow. Cows. Cows. Oh, cow has affection. Uh... Where is it? Hidden Secrets. Give birth the easy way, as it's titled on Ushinotane. Go out and buy a medicine potion and a miracle potion. Give the miracle potion to the cow, and immediately after that, give your cow a medicine potion. Okay, excellent. Excuse me, do you love kids? <laughs> Excuse me. Give a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, kids. Okay. Okay, first I'm going to... Let me grab a chicken so I can sell it. Oh, I guess I guess I don't need to do the, the chicken or the cow thing right now. I can do it at night. Da -da 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 -da. Chicken, you have been chosen to be sacrificed. Whoa! Who is Who is this? Uh sure. I'll take a power bear. Well then, this cow is now mine. This hawk the hawker is glad. See you. Yeah. This is a cow. This sure is a cow. <laughs> this is a good have Oh, now he's mad at me. You said what? You were supposed to sell it, weren't you? Now I'm leaving. Oh, well, oh no. Well, I got a power berry. Uh, was that a was that a glitch or is it a typo? Interesting. I guess it, I guess it, maybe that event's just triggered by trying to sell an animal. Interesting. Very interesting. A strange person gave me a, a fruit. Uh oh. Darn. Well, okay, time to get our second cow. Miracle potion. Never eat fruit from strangers. Never eat strangers. Both good advice, I would say. Hello. Are you ready for some morning sickness? <laughs> Here you go. He's happy. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh, let me cut some grass. It looks like it might be fully grown. Uh, let me grab the brush. We won't need the milker for a while. I wonder if I have to, like, explicitly sell the cow in order to, like, attempt to sell the cow in order to trigger the event with a peddler? Or will they just, like, come to my door? Because, like, they're... Oh, I hate the... Oh, I hate it. What have I done? There we go. 
I guess I will attempt to sell a cow, maybe, and trigger it if it doesn't, like, trigger this year. Let's go visit Eve. I wish there was an option to turn on running as the default. My poor hand. I don't like to be alone. Sometimes I go to the mountain to gather some berries. Alone. Still five hearts. Okay. I, I mean, that makes sense. I haven't been giving her presents or dancing with her. Oh, I should check Maria's diary, but her house is probably locked, as it should be. So that creepers like me cannot enter... Let me in! Sneaking through the window. Ah. I just wanted to check a diary. I just wanted to see what was written in the diary. You can tell us everything down at the station. That's probably what would happen. Okay. Uh, we have achieved our chores. Let's go to sleep. The autumn mountains are beautifully colored. The sky will clear and blue. Great. That brings up an interesting point. There are no police in the village. All right. Life of crime, here we come. No one's here to stop me. Oh my gosh, she's so round! Oh god, oh my god, she's so round! She's struggling! Scheduled date has already passed now. I have to let them in the shed right away. Oh, she's like ready to burst! Look at her trying to walk around, it's so cute. Ah! She can't, her legs are too short! <laughs> she's so, she's so round! Oh, I need to give her food. Here you go, eat up. Should give her a brush. Oh my gosh, look at her! She's so <laughs> round, she looks like Kirby! Just ready to explode. She's so huggable. <laughs> Physicists are pleased. So huggable, oh my god. True. Okay, now I only have eight chickens. One, two, three, four, five. Stop moving around! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Eight chickens. What is, like, the greatest... What's the largest number you can, like, group together easily by eye? I think for me it's four. Like, if I see a group of four things, I can be like, oh, that's four things. Well, once it goes, like... Once a group is five or more, I'm like, I don't know how many that is. Like, I have to count manually. Like, four is easy. Six. Wow. You are powerful. You have a higher number grouping stat than I do. Yeah, I can only do four. Five gets confusing to me for some reason. And here's an egg. Well, constant effort is important, you know. They say success comes from failure. True. I love Anne. I feel like seven when you start counting, even if it's to be sure. Really? <gasps> she has six hearts. Okay. Need two more two more hearts with Anne. I think I'll go for eight. Eight for each girl. I think that's reasonable. I also don't want to get married too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't know. 
What should I do? Oh, I forgot to talk to Ellen. Go back. Oh, there's Eve. Friday. Okay, so she hangs out in the square on Fridays, but not any of the other days. I somehow love autumn scenery. Nina. Mountains always this season are beautiful. Oh, you know what? We'll use time travel to our advantage. I'll go in and check the diary, and then I'll rewind to make it so as if it never happened. Time travel. Diary. Three hearts. Okay. The game is so realistic. It even gives you real life anxieties like not earning a bloody <laughs> or marrying too late. Time heist. Yeah. I feel like actually the appeal of these games is that it gives you like a little bit of anxiety of over things, but not like a lot, not like a real life amount. It's like a, it's like being scared of like when you watch horror movies or play horror games. It's like you're scared a fun amount, not scared like an actual amount. And so these kinds of games are like horror games, except instead of about being scared, it's about being anxious <laughs> and needing to plan. But it's like a fun amount of anxiety. But I know, um, and then that, that even depends on like people's tolerances. Like I think just like how some people just aren't able to play horror games because they're too just they're too scary. I think I think some people find like Harvest Moon style games a lot of, a little bit hectic. And so it's like not very appealing for them to play. Like I've heard people say that before, which I think is totally fair, it's, especially like the newer like I've, I've heard people say that about Stardew Valley. Like it's a lot more hectic than cozy. Um, okay, I think I have is this on my chores. Okay, let's go visit Eve. But, um, yeah, and sometimes I actually do feel that way a little bit, um, for some of the newer farm sim games or life sim games in general. So sometimes it's good to play a game like this, like this OG Harvest Moon, there it's really simple and you can kind of turn your brain off. This game really makes you really appreciate how full day takes 24 hours and not 20 minutes that fly by if you go in and out of buildings and have nights that never end. Oh man, if nights never ended in real life. Well, we wouldn't get anything done now, would we? <laughs> We'd just be in darkness at all times. I guess that's a real thing in some parts of the world, right? Like in, in like super n northern countries. Isn't that like half of the year is like just darkness? That seems really difficult. Maybe not that difficult if you grow, grow up there. Hello, dog. See how our girl's doing. <gasps> A calf was born. That was fast. That was like two days. As someone who took three years of biology science degree, I get curious to think how humans would evolve if we had infinite lights like in this game. Yeah, I think that's I'm sure there's like, I'm sure there's like a science fiction book that is like that. Oh god, what do I name this cow? I, I I bet there is some kind of science fiction novel that explores that. I think that would be really interesting to read. Uh, oh, 
I only have four characters. I'm Hamer. Mimi. Moo and Mimi. Yeah. <gasps> look at them! So cute! Moo, you look fine today. I need to milk the cow, so let me rewind. <laughs> we'll pretend this momentous occasion never happened. I need to go to the shed. Better yet, if days were six hour days and the rest pitch dark nights, a lot would change in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, evolutionarily speaking, I'm sure things would change. And also, I'm, like, societally speaking, I wonder what would change as well. Mini cow, yeah! I think in Iceland, there's no night time, at least in some parts of the year. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like, there's... Uh, I think it's like some parts of the year is no... It's either no nighttime or no daytime? I forget. Maybe both? Ah! Okay. All right. There's no nighttime. Ah, okay. Mimi. Let's brush you. Okay, and then that's milk. Moo. So small. She's so small compared. Oh, did the milk change? The milk bottle changed? Is this like cooler? Is this better milk? It looks different. Which would be worse? Oh, no daytime would be worse. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I guess. I mean, I like nighttime. <laughs> so my instinct is to be like, oh yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But then would it be? Like, it would be hard to like be outside, which I, I don't. I mean, I don't go outside that much, but it's not like I. That's mostly because I don't like talking to people. I don't know. But no nighttime would be really like... I feel like that would feel really suffocating. Like there's just no time to turn off. And like, if there was no nighttime... I mean, maybe people would evolve like... I mean... I guess human beings have figured out how to deal with that since that's like a thing that actually does happen. But no nighttime just seems awful. Iceland is the most safe country in the world, so it wouldn't have the same concerns as the rest of us in some aspects. Uh, I see, like in terms of like petty crime and all that. Interesting. Oh, I don't know. I think just in terms of personal preference, like I think I would feel really like overstimulated if there was no no night do our best shall we we shall with artificial lights but no artificial darkness i mean i guess artificial darkness is just like closing all your wind your blinds <laughs> and like hiding under a blanket But, like, that's kind of... I don't know. There's no, like... <gasps> Maria wants to come to my ranch. Sure. I mean, it's, like, right there. We did dance. Hello, Kai. Welcome to the stream. We're here with some cozy... Uh, cozy Harvest Moon. In which I date all the girls at once. Oh, yes. Oh, the... Um, I just g got reminded. Um, Jack Jack Coro mentioned in my stream yesterday 
a very important Harvest Moon announcement, which is Claire, the, uh, the, the female version of the farmer main character, is going to get a Nendroid very soon. And so if you haven't heard about it, now you have. I am definitely getting one. Uh, they are not, um, I don't believe the release date or anything is announced yet, and they don't have any, like, pictures because it's still under development, is for my very quick look. Um, go my very quick Google, I didn't find any information on that, so I think there's very sparse information about it, but they, they announced that they're going to be making one. Chibi figures, yes, so they're like these collectible chibi, chibi figures. Um... Um, and I think they look like for I'm not really a big uh, figure collector, but for figures, I think Nendroids look really, really cute. Like they're just like a good, I don't know, they're like a good proportion and like have good details. Yeah, she's still going to be a way out, but I, I'm definitely going to keep an eye. I kind of wonder if, oh, I kind of wonder if she'll be popular. Like, like, should I be worried if I don't pre-order her? And will she be like out of stock everywhere <laughs> i don't know so i'm like kind of nervous but i am definitely gonna get one yeah i have a couple of nendroids just just a few i have um a trainer red nendroid and a an n nendroid from pokemon black and white i hope she's popular so she so, she, so we get more yeah good point good point yeah i will i hope people throw money at it I I I think she'll be popular. I think people will I feel like Harvest Moon is such a such a like poster child for um like farming sims which is which has really taken off. And so I think it would be I think people will hopefully be en enthusiastic. Yeah, but I'm I'm definitely getting one. There's actually like a whole community of um, like Nendroid specific, like custom parts and like accessory making that I have never really gone into. But the, the thing with Nendroids that makes them kind of fun to collect is that you can, um, and actually I think they sell official like part packs that like aren't for any particular character, but you can get like different faces and like, like accessories and things like that. Um, Oh, look at my power berries. Amazing. Um, accessories and all that. Uh, and people make custom... Or, like, like the thing about Nendroids is you can, like, swap stuff. So you can, like, swap their hair. You can swap their expressions. They can hold various things in their hands. You can swap their hands. So, like, um, every Nendroid comes with, like, a couple of those items. But any Nendroid is compatible with any other Nendroid. So you can, like... Get Claire and then, like, I don't know, swap her hand with, like, Trainer Red's hand and, like, have her hold a Pokeball. And then you have, like, Pokemon Trainer Claire, <laughs> which I think is kind of cool. Um, I don't I don't have enough Nendroids to, like, make that a thing. But apparently that's a thing that people do. They'll, like, customize their Nendroids and even, like, make new parts. And then they'll, um, uh, or customize, like, paint their own parts or buy them from other people. And they'll, like, set up scenes and like take pictures um it seems really cool um i don't i don't think i'll ever become a nendroid collector enough to to warrant buying like custom stuff but and in fact i i, I am a fan of the official things and also i feel like if i swap stuff out i'll like lose i'll lose the parts or something but um yeah claire that's why I've seen Nendroids with unusual expressions. Yeah, yeah, it's like a whole, like, thing. Claire looks like it's gonna come with a turnip! Oh, man! That's amazing. Is it controversial to say Nendroid seems like good Funko Pop? <laughs> I don't know if that's controversial. I, I, I really am not, like, plugged into the Nendroid community at all. Um, that probably is. I... Okay, apparently I can't put grass in there. Oh, what? Try again. Grass. Okay, there we go. Ooh. The coldest take ever. Everyone agrees on that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think... 
Yeah, they're kind of, I guess, similar to Funko Pops in that, like, they're very, like, culture, like, geek culture reference oriented and, like, they're very collectible, but I think, in my opinion, they look a lot cuter. <laughs> Um, and have that, you know, customizable, swappable ability, which I think is really cool. Um, and I believe they came first. Nendroid, Nendroid has been around for a long time, from what I know. Yeah, so I'm really excited for that, so I'll have to keep an eye out. I, I do know that, um... That Nendroid, like, they don't keep them around forever. Like, they'll, they'll like, make the Nendroids for a while, and then they stop making them. So if you want the, if you want to collect them, you have to, like, buy them fairly soon after they come out, or you buy them secondhand, uh, at which point they might be kind of expensive. So, do not sleep. If you want the Nendroid, do not sleep on it. No one likes Funko Pops, they're just so commercially available and they license every IP that they get sold due to in cultural inertia more than anything. Oh, really? I, yeah, I personally have never met anybody who owns a Funko Pop. <laughs> I guess that's like not a thing in my friend group, I guess. But I mean, to be fair, I have a lot of like anime friends, so maybe we all are kind of biased towards the, uh, the Nendroid side of the spectrum. So I, I I honestly did not know anything about, like, why people <laughs> buy them. <laughs> I'm sure there's people out there who, like, you know, I'm sure they, I'm sure there's people who think they're, like, really cute. You know a few? Okay. They do exist. They do exist. Yeah, though, I, I guess, I guess that's true. I guess people tend to buy a lot of things that are, like, that appeal to that sense of identity. Oh, people probably also get them as gifts, I'm sure. It's like, oh, you like Grogu from the hit movie series Star Wars? Here you go, I got a Grogu thing. I saw a Grogu thingy at the store. Here you go. They're extremely popular, and they're not bought by people who feel that passion for them. Mmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. What an interesting business model. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. I wonder if they do, if the company does something, like, to, like, prevent other... Like, I wonder if they have in their contract, like, if you license us... Like, we have, like, exclusive rights to make cute, chippified, miniature figures of this character. So, like, nobody else can make it. And so if you do want, like, a, a cute version of a character that you like, it's, like, the only option. I wonder if it's something like that. Like, maybe they have some kind of monopoly on it. Because, honestly, I can't think of any other, other like, option you would have. Like, if... If you're like, oh, I want to buy, like, a little figure for my room, and, like, you go to the store, and there's, like, only Funko Pops, and you're like, well, guess that's it. They have athletes? Athlete Funko Pops? Interesting. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic... Sexy Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Funko Pop. Can I make a confession? I have never seen Jurassic Park. I have never seen Jurassic Park. Need to watch it at some point. <laughs> There's a lot of like movies I have not seen. <laughs> okay, okay. This is the this is not an excuse, but an exclamation. Um, we we have. When I was a kid, we had Jurassic Park. We're preparing. What the heck? Preparing for what? Hello. Not open it. Do I need to leave and come back? Um, I should at least see the first one. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like it's just so like culturally, like I know some of the famous lines from it just from cultural osmosis, like, like you clever girl, like that's a line from the movie, right? It's like a dino, like there's like a, 
velociraptor or something and it's like being smart and then like the scientist is like in mortal danger but he's like oh my god i love dinosaurs uh wax on wax off thing i also have not seen karate kid i've seen the new karate kid i have not seen the original one but i saw the one with uh 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 with jackie chan and um oh what's the kid's name i think it was will smith's kid jaden smith yes yeah i've seen that and the only actually the only scene i remember <laughs> maybe because it felt so relevant to me was um that scene where jaden jaden's character and his mom are on the plane and they're like flying i guess they're moving to china they're like on the plane flying there and then his mom is like why don't you practice your chinese like your mandarin or whatever or it wasn't mandarin or was it cantonese i can't remember but like why don't why don't you practice your chinese with the guy over there and he goes he like leans over to like the like asian dude in the in the um uh across the aisle and he like says something and then the guy like looks at him and he's like dude i'm from chicago and then <laughs> And Jaden Smith's character was like, oh, that's the only scene I remember. <laughs> that's the only scene I remember. And I was like, whoa, Asian things. I can I can totally see that happening. Yeah, but I got I got to watch Jurassic Park. We OK, so oh, the thing I was going to say is that we we have when I was a kid, we had Jurassic Park. We like had the VHS tapes. I think we actually had like two of them. But my mom hit, hid them for some reason. I can't remember why. But I, I do, I have a distinct memory of like, I was like looking for something on a bookshelf and then I saw them, they were like on the highest part of the bookshelf where I couldn't see. And the VHS tops were just like up there. I was like, huh, why are these up here? And then, and then I think, I, I don't know why she hid them. I think maybe she thought it was gonna be too scary or, it may have been like a religion thing because, <laughs> you know, it's like dinosaurs and like, I, I don't know. It might have been like a religion thing. I don't know. Um, so anyway, it was like hidden. And then I think one day I because I've seen part of it, like I remember some part, like some scenes. And I think what happened was I I watched it. I think I popped it in one night when like my parents weren't home, like. They must have been at church or something on some random like weekday night and then I like put it in and then and then I was like scared that my parents were going to come home and like see that I was watching it so I like took I like didn't finish watching it. I think that's what happened. <laughs> so yeah, so I've seen some scenes. Like I have a memory of oops, I didn't mean to take another grass. I've seen some things. Like I I've seen uh yeah i don't know I, I can't tell if it's because i watched it that night or if it's because i'm just like absorbing scenes from other like other just like clips from like online or something because there is uh there's a clip of like a guy in a porter potty and he gets like eaten by a t-rex i like i remember that and i remember thinking like wow that's horrible you just like are trying to go to the bathroom and then and then it makes you think, right? Like if you were in the bathroom, like would you, and like some natural, some disaster was coming towards you, would you like get up mid business and like run or would you just <laughs> sit there? <laughs> and I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. I would probably die like that guy died. I would just sit there like, well, the social, I don't think my biological urge to stay alive is strong enough to get over the 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 social anxiety of running around with my pants down. So I guess guess I'll die. Guess I'll die. So yeah, that's 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 what I remember from Jurassic Park. That scene was always uncomfortable. Yeah, it was like visceral. Wet, mid poop and terrified. It was a very visceral scene. And so I I guess I just remembered it. But again, I can't I can't tell if it's because I actually watched that part or if I just remember it from some some other thing. 
Yeah, but I, I gotta watch it someday. I gotta watch it someday. Six hearts. Okay, good. We're making progress. Um, and yeah, and for the longest time, I didn't know it was like... I didn't know it was a Steven Spielberg movie. Like, I didn't know anything about it being famous. I was just like, oh, everyone likes it because it's... Everyone likes it because it's dinosaurs, right? Which is true, I'm sure. But, uh... I did not know... Like, it was by, like, famous people. Oh! Eve is here in the square, too, on Mondays. Maybe it's random. Hey, Maria? Nina? Looking very pink today, as usual. I think people do like it because of the dinosaurs, yeah. The crazy thing is how good that movie still looks. It's held up really well. Ooh. Yeah, because it was, um, because it's not CG, right? It's like, they, like, physically made... They've made the dinosaur props. They're like physical. Oh god! <laughs> I was thinking about dinosaurs and I ate the mushroom. Um, they physically made the props, right? Yeah, it's practical effects. Oh, it does use CGI, okay. Well, like, it's like combined, I guess. All the Jurassic World movies made a billion each on theaters. Yeah. I'm sure I would enjoy it. It seems like a mov movie that I would like. It's historical for how much it uses, but I think it's less than 10% of the movie. Ah, okay. Some of the most iconic sound effects. It's a perfect mix, is what they say. Yeah, that's really cool. I think I think watching movies like that, where they really made a lot of like technical break breakthroughs, I think is really interesting. I I almost enjoy watching like the making of type things more than I like uh, watching the actual movies, because <laughs> I get so interested in the the craft of it all. Like I like I like watching people make stuff, I guess. And, like, see how people solve, like, just really wild problems that, like, you would never encounter in your daily life doing normal things, but... It seems like a movie that would bore me, Greg! <laughs> oh, no! We'll have to see. I cannot comment on this either way, because I... I've never seen it. Yeah, but I do, like, as much, uh, regardless of whether or not I would enjoy or be bored by the movie, I think I would, I think I 100% would enjoy the making of, like, watching, like, a documentary on it. Just to see, like, all the crazy things you have to do. I could have been meaner! <laughs> that was Greg holding back. Greg! Um, but it also, I also do just like dinosaurs. So maybe I would like it just for that reason. I, I read a lot of dinosaur books as a kid. I haven't really... I haven't caught up with dinosaur... Uh, I almost said dinosaur lore, but that's not the right word. I haven't caught up with the, uh, the latest news in dinosaurs recently, actually. I should go pick up some kids' books on dinosaurs and just kind of, like, see what new things are in there because i'm sure all the all the information that i had when i was a kid is probably well not all of it but i'm sure a lot of it is out of date now watching bts featurettes is totally what makes me want to make movies it's so cool yeah right dinosaur lore <laughs> yeah because you're just like oh my gosh that looks so like like the problems they have to solve is like so interesting and I think movies is a really good example of that because you have to, um, at least for fiction movies, like you're really coming up with like something that does not exist in real life, but you have to make believable and also make it interactable enough that the actors can like perform realistically. So it's not just like, you have to make it believable on screen and like to a degree like somewhat believable when you're filming because otherwise it's harder for the actors to like like 
um, kind of synchronize with whatever effects are going to get added later. So I don't know. Did I talk to Eve already? I can't remember. Um, dinosaur cannon. <laughs> dinosaur, di dinosaur fanon. This is my dinosaur head cannon, guys. I mean, that's basically, I wonder if that's basically what archaeologists do. It's like we find some bones and we're not entirely, we're, you know, we're not entirely sure what this dinosaur looked like, but my head cannon is this. <laughs> my head cannon is this paper that I, I published at the scientific journal. Reading a history book to find out Russian lore. Apparently dinosaurs roaring is non-canon. Really? Huh. I wonder, oh, I think I did come to the bar. Whoops. Repeating myself. Actually, I think I did hear that. They're like, they're kind of like birds. They probably sounded like birds, which I think actually makes them a lot cuter than they already are. Steven Spielberg publishing Jurassic Park on AO3. <laughs> no, not even Steven Spielberg, just like straight up like paleontologists being like, this is my dinosaur head cannon. Here we go. Alternate universe. I think the egg festival soon. Okay, two more days to the egg festival. I'm gonna try to get to winter. I'm gonna try to finish fall the stream. So we're we're gonna keep going until fall or uh, winter starts. That's why we need our own dinosaur cannon. The more archaeological discoveries are made, the less cool they make dinosaurs. <laughs> I see. Oh, see, there's this weird picture again. What is this? What is this picture? It's a fat, it, like it's supposed to be, I don't know what this is. <laughs> what are you showing me, news channel? You're cordially invited to take part in the egg festival. Okay. Am I gonna have to like save scum to win the egg festival? I wonder what the game is. Oh! It's the egg festival tomorrow. I'll stop work earlier. Yeah, ba 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 ba. It's wild how many culturally iconic movies Spielberg has made. True, this is why we have Turok, because someone realized giving dinosaurs guns was also cool. <laughs> wow. Have you played um there's a, there's a dinosaur shooting game I see at arcades? that I can't remember the name of. I think it is Jurassic World themed specifically. Like it's like for that IP, but I can't remember what it's called. I've played it like once, but like the the arcade machine looks like a Jeep, like the first half of a Jeep. And then you like, there's like a, a video at the front and then you have guns and you're like running away from dinosaurs or something. Or actually, am I remembering this right? It's like a... I might be mixing two arcade machines together. There's like a, a love themed one, but it's also shooting dinosaurs. <laughs> I can't remember. It's like your, sync, your like teamwork or something is like evaluated and that's like how compatible you are or something. The one where you're in the back of a Jeep shooting at dinosaurs. Maybe I'm mixing two different games together. <laughs> Wait, now I really... I can't remember what this, like, love one was. Maybe I'm mixing them together. A romantic date about shooting... Yeah, it's like a pink... Maybe they had a similar, like, physical construction. Because I, I think the love theme one... Was also kind of like a car-shaped, like... Like, view, like, you go inside of a vehicle. True <laughs> dinosaurs together. Yeah. It was some kind of like compatibility like teamwork game or something. I hope it exists. I hope I'm not just like hallucinating it. Did you all know I've talked to Steven Bil Spielberg for like, I talked to Steven Spielberg for like five minutes over video call. 
It was extremely nerve wracking. I, uh, it was for a, um, uh, as you might know, I was in grad school and I did some research that was related to like, like I, I like I wrote a paper that was related to like creative writing um, or something. And he, <laughs> did he say he has his own dinosaur cannon? No, I should have asked him that question though. That would have been a really good conversation in the middle of a research presentation. Um, no, but I was, I was presenting my research as this thing and he was like part of the, uh, like the board of directors or something that was like funding the thing. And so he was there. And then he asked me questions about it. And I was like, hello, Steven Spielberg. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I, uh, will try, I will attempt to answer any of your questions. Yeah, I don't, I, I literally don't remember what I said. I was so nervous. But um, he had positive things to say. That's the only thing I remember. I, f I remember feeling very relieved that he was like, ex I don't know. He was like very like nice. And he was like, oh, like your research is so cool. And I was like, oh, thank you. I'm going to go cry now. Yeah, but that's my... I think he's probably the most famous person I've ever talked to in my life. Like directly. Actually, it wasn't even directly because it was on a video call. But um, yeah, that was that was an experience. a pretty high bar. Yeah, I, I suppose it is. It's a pretty high bar. He is pretty famous, true. Um, it is, it's a, um, you know, whenever you do like, like a, like meet and greet things that like work or like, I don't know, social gatherings or something where you have to do two truths and a lie and you tell yourself or you, you tell the group of people like, Here's two truths about me, and here's one lie about me, and you have to guess, like, which one it is. I always use that as one of my ones. Um. <laughs> that sounds exactly like how I imagine your nervous young voice would sound like. Why did I come in here? I'm, like, nervous thinking about it. I need to go talk to Eve. Okay. Um, yeah, but I always, I always use that one, because... You know, on, on some level, I think I'm kind of bragging about it because it actually isn't a very effective one. Like people are like, like most of the time people's like, that one's really specific. And so I think that one's the truth one. And I'm like, oh, darn. Like they, they kind of find it very suspicious. But maybe I should, sw maybe I should swap it out for a different director and then make that the lie. And then I'll be like, the truth is I've talked to Steven Spielberg and everyone's like, whoa. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I'm not going to tell them how it went, though. They wouldn't be impressed if they saw me talking to him. <laughs> okay. We've talked to our girls. You gotta do some misdirection. Yeah, you gotta do some misdirection. I love bunnies. I hate rainy days. I talked to Steven Spielberg in college for five minutes. <laughs> and everyone's like, huh? <laughs> That one seems, uh, different. Which one is true and fake? Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of an art to it. You can tell I've done this a lot because I have, like, opinions about what makes good ones. Like, sometimes people say things like, I take a walk every day, and then... And then you're like, I mean, that sounds like a reasonable habit someone would have, and then they're like, and then you're like, okay, that one's the true one. And then they say, no, that's the lie. I take a walk almost every day. And you're like, well, great. I'm glad we got to know you better. <laughs> and you're like, that's the, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's an art to making good, good lies. So I don't know. This is like a very specific thing to have like opinions about. But I've I've done it too much. We do we do it a lot for uh, like when we have in when we have um, intern season in the summer at our work, our work, my work. <laughs> Who's our? Um, at my work, uh, we often do that game. So I've I've heard a lot of different ones. <laughs> what 
a boring answer. Oh no. Well, I mean, the the other thing though that's kind of understandable. Oops, I need to feed my chickens. Um, is that it's kind of hard to come up with them. I feel like. So I don't know. Um, and I I I cheat because I've. I usually I okay. These are the three that I usually choose for um, people I've never met before. Uh, which is I've talked to Steven Spielberg before, um, and I have a black belt in Taekwondo, and I what was the third one that I use? Oh, and I have a Tamagotchi collection. Or I have like I have a hundred. I have over a hundred Tamagotchis. Like those are like the three truths I pick from. Um, and then I have to, like, come up with a lie. Um. Greg, your, your comment got, <laughs> your comment got flagged for hate speech. <laughs> Just, uh, Twitch is watching you. Um. Oops, why is my chat, like, weird? Okay. Um. So, uh, oh, can you see it? I, so you can tell that I don't know how Twitch works. I can't tell like what chat can see and what chat cannot see. But um, yeah, so I picked those three, but at some point I've done it so much at work and like my coworkers all have, like they all know which ones are true. So when we have new interns, I have to like pick different ones. Uh, okay, we have fed our animals. Yeah, I think they're pretty good, but uh, my my co my coworkers have heard them all like five billion times, and so it's like not fun for them anymore. So I, I got to come up with new ones. I forget what I I forget what I came up with last time because we did this couple of months ago for our interns this season, and uh, what did I pick? Oh my god, what the heck is this abomination? What is this? They all have to sound equally fake. Yeah. See, the winner will get the great prize. Little kids need handicap. No, you don't. We are all equals today. Play on an even field. All right, I'll try to win this year. I hear the prize is a seed of the rare flower. If Koro were here, he would find it very quickly. <laughs> He's a dog. I won't be beaten by those young kids. Let's not talk to the mayor yet. Is the prize juice? Drunk on juice? Oh, there's not very many people here, huh? You can see Greg's comment on web and not on mobile. Oh, interesting. Now the annual leg searching game in autumn. The rule is simple. The first person that finds the same colored egg as the one I show wins the game. May I begin now? What the villagers don't know is I have the power of time travel on my side. So... Their effort is futile. Green. Oh my god! We're searching the whole town?! Oh. Not this! Oh, I found it! It's mine, suckers! <laughs> yes, that's the same color. You got one point next to this one. Blue. Okay. Do the colors shift around? I hope not. Oh! Bam! I'm killing it! Pink? Why is it- Oh, it's pink. Okay. Ah, I can't exit! Oh my gosh, the music is so cute. Huh? Hello? That has nothing in it? Nope, not this. No, that's not it. Pink? Yes! Why is this one so specifically shiny? <gasps> Wait. Let's cheat. Let's cheat. Everybody, let's cheat. Cheating. Tee hee hee hee. 
Hee hee hee. Yeah. Red. Oh, I saw the red. Red one is here. Yes. Too bad, kid. I got it first. Oh, uh, where was that one? Uh, it was, he I think, on the side? Next to the midwife's hut. No, it wasn't that one. Oh, it was this one. Yes. Too bad, kid. I have the power of save states. <laughs> Game is over. I'm announcing the winner. Ooh, I wonder who won. The winner of this year's egg festival is Mr. Jojo. Congratulations. I'll deliver the prize to your home. Now, everybody, let's do our best this year, too. Puff, puff. Phew, it's good for a healthy body to do exercise sometimes. That's true. Puff puff. Now everybody, let's get let's do our best this year too. Hick, shouldn't have come here. Yeah, what were you doing here, sir? <laughs> Phew, I just couldn't do it like I usually do. Hey, it's not a seed of a flower. Who said that? Puff puff, don't speak to me, please. There's a lot of running around. Oh. Okay, I guess it just ends when I talk to everyone. One time, um, I love how half the city gets furious because you would. I mean, it should have been faster. What is this? Is this the thing I got? It's a prize from the egg festival. It's a charm to protect from disasters, they say. What? I thought I was going to get a power berry. Is that in the second year? Is that only in the second year? I don't want this turtle. I want a power berry. Let me confirm. Wiki, tell me the truth. What's happening here? Egg festival. If you win... Is it... <gasps> is it RNG? The wiki says... You also win a power berry if you get most of the eggs correctly and fast. This power berry will most likely come if you win the festival. What? So I can get both prizes? Do I have a new power berry in my, like, power berry garden? I have two more shots. That's true. It's a three. That's true. I guess I could just do it again. But is it RNG? Or is it just like, maybe, maybe the second year, since I already got the prize, I can... It'll give me the power berry. So maybe it's like first year is this prize and second year is this other prize or something. Interesting. Well, okay, I'll accept the turtle. It's RNG next year you should get the berry. Ah, okay, I see. Okay. Good to know. Wow, that was fun though. Egg festival. Um, where am I going? Chickens. I do. Um, so pushing the kids aside to get the eggs reminded me of um, one time I played Mario Kart, like Mario Kart DS against some kid that I met. At, um, I think it was at church when I was younger. I, I was like much older than them. They were like 10 maybe and I was like 20 <laughs> and I I beat them at Mario Kart and I was like ha take that like kind of you know it wasn't like I wasn't being like mean I was kind of I was kind of joking and hopefully that came through but then like <laughs> but like somebody who's like nearby this like lady that was nearby was like <gasps> it's like she was so offended i was like oh she's like she's and she was like he's just a kid i was like I, 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 that. <laughs> I felt kind of bad after that but he didn't seem all that bothered so i don't know uh what is this 
I thought you were gonna say like fifteen. No, I was like quite a bit older. I was, I was like, I was like an adult. But yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah. This person was this other person was very offended on his behalf. I don't know. I thought this was just like some friendly ribbing between two fellow kids at heart. You know. That's kind of how I was thinking about it. I wasn't trying to be mean or anything. <laughs> he internalized that embarrassment and now competes to talk about everything he does. Oh god. I've changed the trajectory of this kid's life and personality. Now he no longer trusts adults. I'm using tilt controls. Yeah. I remember that very clearly. And I don't know what it says about me that I actually, whenever I play against kids, like in video games, I like remember that scene very clearly and I have to tell myself like, like do not taunt the child. <laughs> so I guess the urge is still there to taunt the child. I have to like remind myself, do not taunt the children. You are an adult. They don't need to be taunted by you. Like that's that says something about me, right? That I have to stop myself. I don't know. I just like revert into like a 12 year old. When I'm, I don't, I don't know what it is, because I don't do that with, like, my friends, like, f like, I don't do that with people my age. It only hap, like, I only get that urge when I'm playing against, like, children. I, I guess it's like, I want to be a kid with them or something. Some kids need a little taunting, though. Like, you competing with your husband, typing of the dead, all the hardest difficulty. Oh, I still haven't beaten him, beaten his score. I need to try again today. Oh, I made it just in time. Did I hug the dog yet today? No. Um, yeah, but I, I do... Okay, well, okay, I do this, the taunting I do with children and I do with my husband, but I don't do it with like my friends. Like if we're playing Mario Kart, just like, like with people that are my age, I'm like really just like, oh, good job. Like, oh, you got first place. Amazing. You're really good. Oh my gosh. Like I'm really like nice about it. And it's like genuine. I'm not like trying to hide feelings or something. I just don't get the urge to like taunt people my age but like when it's like a kid i'm like I, I don't know what it is i think i just am like me and you we are the same we are on the same level right now so i'm gonna act like a 12 year old <laughs> i don't know i don't know what it is only feel fulfilled when they destroy a child maybe i'm like recl there, there must be some kind of like psychological thing like I'm like reclaiming my childhood by being the sassy brat that I was not allowed to be as a child or something like that. There's probably some kind of like, I don't know, there's probably some Jungian, Jungian like whatever thing. Um, is that how you say that? J-U-N-G, is it Jungian? It's like pronounced differently than you think it would be. Oh god, this this turtle looks so weird. I guess it looks like um like somebody's head and they have like like a helmet on or something. Scary. Why'd they make the turtle skin colored? <laughs> I don't like it. I actually I mean, I I don't hate kids. I really I like kids. I think they're well, I like most kids. But um I don't know. I, I just want to like engage with them. I just want to engage with them very genuinely, I guess. Maybe that's where that comes from. It looks like a bug, a shaved armadillo. Yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like a shaved armadillo. 
That's true. Okay, everyone's looking good today. Ah! Grass is so difficult to place. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, chickens. Now that I've got cows, I keep forgetting I have chickens. Uh, I think that's all the autumn festivals, right? We have seen all the autumn festivals, so we're now we're just we're just farming until winter. Then what? What do I do in winter? There's nothing to forage. I guess just animals, huh? The sprites in the an for the animals in this game are also cute, right? Like they, so they're so like the chickens too. Like they're small, but they're like bouncy and round. They're very, very cute. It can be fun to play with kids. They engage so genuinely with their play. Yeah, like, like that's something I really like about hanging out with kids. Like, they're very just, I don't know. They just like tell the truth and they're curious about stuff. Lots of cool things happen in winter. Okay, I'm excited. Like, they, they ask questions about things that you kind of like forget you like you were also curious about at some point. I don't know. I think it makes you think about a lot of stuff when you hang out with kids. <laughs> but then like on the, uh, like it's a spectrum for sure. Like there's that, but then on the other hand, there's like, you know, they want to play horsey and then you're tired, but they don't want to stop playing horsey with you. So you're just like, okay, I guess I'll die. And then you have to get your, you have to get their mom to stop jumping on you. Because you don't have the heart to tell them to get off. You haven't been corrupted by the cruel world yet. That's something my dad says. He says, like, he says, uh, babies are born perfect, and it's their parents that ruin them. <laughs> I don't know why he says that, but, uh,. I don't know. I guess he has some feelings about it. So, I don't know if that says something about me or him. <laughs> like, somehow I turned into a... a very anxious human being. And how that happened? I don't know. Was I born that way? Probably not. Maybe I was? I don't know. What a funny and sad thing to hear from one's dad, right? I'm like, I don't know how I should feel about this. Do I feel sad for myself or do I feel sad for my dad? Can I squeeze in one more mushroom? Why not both? All right. We'll just be depressed about everybody. <laughs> good, good idea. That's true. Why be sad for one person when you could be sad for multiple people? Okay. Does Ellen like mushrooms? Let me see if I can bring a mushroom to her at the bar. And be like, Ellen, I know you're at the bar, but here's a mushroom. I'd be kind of sad, actually, if she likes mushrooms, because that means I could have been giving her mushrooms, like, every day. I have no fear with time travel on my side. We can pretend nothing happened if she dislikes it. Hello, everybody. Oh, okay. I guess she does not hate it, which is good. Give still Ella and don't do anything when she's at the bar. What? What? 
Oh my god. She's too busy trying to get her dad under control, I guess. That's unfortunate. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well then, that's good then. Then I didn't miss out on any gift gift giving opportunities. Oh, Johan Mikes has learned something today. Interesting. We're all learning things here. Uh, is this grass ready to cut? I think it is. Let me cut it. But when, when will I get my golden axe? When will the earthquake come? Okay. Oh, oh, I hope these haven't been fully grown for a while. That would be a waste. Okay. All right. I think we're done with our chores. Let's go. I forgot. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I thought this- I thought the turtle was like somebody peeking out from behind the fireplace and I was scared for a split second. The skin colored turtle. Human skin colored turtle. Okay. We're almost to winter! We've gotten a lot of good luck with our weather. Not a lot of rain or like hurricanes or anything. Birds. Bird cutscene. Oh, oh I didn't change my, didn't change my tools. Dang it. Okay. How did people find out all the stuff about, like, the point system and stuff in in this game? I guess, do you have to, like, decompile, like, reverse engineer the, like, the ROM, I guess, to, like, to, like, figure that out? I guess there's no other way to do it. Because there's, like, very specific... Like, people know very specific numbers. Something like that, yes? Okay. That's kind of cool. I want to learn how to do that kind of stuff. Call the Nintendo Health Line. <laughs> you know, I never did that as a kid. Oh, because it costs money, right? That's probably why. I kind of wish I had, though. I have no memories of the Nintendo helpline. You have a past on ROM hacking. I still have some idea of how it's done. Oh, cool. Oops, that's a chicken. It's complicated though. Yeah, I figure. I mean, that's why not a whole lot of people do it. <laughs> I'm sure. I think for me, like, yeah, maybe I should just watch like a video of somebody doing it. Like, I think I would be satisfied just like learning the gist of kind of how it's done. I, I don't know if I would ever like sit down and like do it myself. So I do have some, I really want to like, I don't know. Like I, if, if I were going to do any kind of ROM hacking, it would be to create like a translation patch or something for like, like the Game Boy Tamagotchi games or something that are only in Japanese because I really want to play those, but I don't know Japanese enough to like, I mean, you can kind of memorize how the game works, I think, but I'm bad at remembering things also. I think making like a translation 
for like a game that I really want to play. That's like a small game. It would be kind of cool. When you get the idea, you really start to put respect on how they made games for very limited hardware. Oh yeah. I, I, um, there's a channel, uh, oh, what's the guy's name? I feel really bad. I can't remember his name. The, the person who made, um, Super Smash Brothers. Oh, Maria's flirting with me. Um, the person who made Super Smash, Sakurai, I think his name is? Masahiro Sakurai or something like that? Yeah, Sakurai. Oh, yes, right, right, right. Yeah, so he, he has a YouTube channel now in his quote-unquote retirement where he talks a little bit about the games that he's made and, like, design decisions and stuff. And there was one... Um, I don't know why I'm reading this. There was one video he made about how he developed Kirby, like, the first Kirby game. Um, and he was talking about how the sprites... I, I think this is actually fairly common knowledge, but it was kind of new to me. Uh, how the sprites, how they did some tricks to make the sprites take up less space in the game so that they could use like every single possible piece of memory um, that was available to them. So like things like making um, making enemies and backgrounds like symmetrical so that you can like use the same sprite and then just like flip it around and like display it on the other side. Um, and then only like special things get like their own like more detailed sprites. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff like that. Um, I really want to watch a video on a, like, I don't know. I should look at more videos about how that works. Just like older Game Boy games and S or NES games and stuff. They really had to do so much with so little and like achieve really complicated effects. Sakurai would be very chill talking about how they used a single trackball to build all the maps in the game just because Sakurai had <laughs> mouses. Oh no! <laughs> Same half sprite and they just duplicate it and clip it. flip it. Yes, 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 exactly. Yeah, so I think that kind of stuff is just really clever and like interesting. And like, and back in the day too, it was like, um, it wasn't like you could go on Google and be like, oh, what's like a good way to save memory in my game? I'm sure there, I'm, I mean, I'm sure there is some like knowledge passed through the industry from like developer to developer or from company to company even, but like, so you, like these clever solutions, they had to like kind of think about it by themselves and like invent, invent the best practices. If you want to dive in and head in the works of 16 bit consoles in general, I say watch Retro Gaming Mechanics Explained. It's high-level stuff, but it's awesome. That sounds so cool. I will definitely look that up after this. Let me write it down so I don't forget. Retro. Retro Games. Gaming Mechanics Explained. Okay, I will check it out. I'll check it out after the stream. Beanie, hello! Sorry, I dipped out last night without saying anything. Legit fell asleep on the floor of the office? Oh my god. Yeah, no worries. Feel free to... I mean, this goes for everyone. Feel free to dip out whenever. You don't have to say bye or, like, anything. Just whatever works for you. I don't... I really don't mind at all. Um, I'm sorry you fell asleep on the floor. I hope you're not as tired today. <laughs> At work right now, but if you're in line in, like, 3.5 hours, I'll be here. Okay. Sounds good. Have a good work day. I, um, I will probably not be streaming in 3.5 hours. I've been streaming for about two and a half hours already. I think I'm going to be going for maybe another hour. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm trying to get to winter first. You got very rested. Okay, good. Retro gaming mechanics explain. Not gaming, but on YouTube you can find with both. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. I will look that up. That sounds really awesome. Petition for Joji to do a 12-hour stream. Oh, God. I cannot. What would, what would I talk about for 12 hours? I have nothing. I've, I, I'm not that interesting of a person. What would I talk about? I feel like I've told all my stories already. This is all I am as a person. You're dying my dinosaur cannon. <laughs> my dinosaur head cannon. 
Korean lore. Ooh. Actually, I, I very regrettably do not know a lot about Korean mythology or folktales. I had, like... I, that is something I really want to read more of, but I feel like... Um, I actually looked this up a little while ago. I was trying to look for books about, like, Korean mythology, but there's, like, really nothing out there in English. And so if I want to learn more about that, I have to learn to... I have to learn Korean better. <laughs> or, like, be very committed to, like, using a dictionary while I read. Which actually might be a good way to learn more words. Dinosaur cannon sounds dirty. No, okay, we were talking about how archaeologists or paleontologists are really... Like, their papers, their research papers are really just dinosaur head cannons. Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot to swap out my tools before I went to sleep. Um... Yeah, so di dinosaur, dinosaur, archaeological research, paleontolo paleontological research is dinosaur head cannons. Um, yeah, but I, I really want to learn more Korean folklore and stuff. Um, I have similar issues trying to find resources on Native American folklore that aren't just written by white people. Oh my god, yeah, that seems very hard because it's. Um, I feel like Native American folklore is very, like, summer, it's, I'm sure it's in butchered the heck in a lot of ways. Like, I mean, I, I remember reading, like, Native American stories as, as, like, like, in elementary school, like, as a kid in, like, I don't know, like, whatever, school books or whatever, and they're, like, very summarized and I'm sure not very accurate. So I'm sure that's hard to find. Steven Spielberg developed the most expensive dinosaur non-canon movie ever made. <laughs> he brought his fan fiction to life. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. I um. There's actually uh, I found some books on Korean shamanism, like uh, I don't know what you call it. Like I don't I don't know if it's correct to call it like indigenous Korean like spiritual beliefs, but I think that's what shamanism is in Korea. Uh, but um, I saw, found some books on it, but it's not, it's like written by like white people, which doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, but it's like, I'm sure there's a lot of context I would be missing. Um, so yeah. And then same with like folklore, like I really want to learn about like mythical creatures. Why is my Digimon dying? It's beeping. Oh my god. It's dying. I don't know if you could hear the beeping on stream. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, but I really want to learn about, like, mythical... I want to learn about the, uh, like, pantheon of, like, traditional deities, Korean deities, and I want to know about mythical creatures, um, which overlaps some with Chinese mythology. But there's also Korean specific like creatures. Um, save the boys. Can you revive Tamagotchis? Um, you can. Uh, they will, well, um, the newer Tamagotchis will have like a little, <laughs> it's kind of tragic actually. If they are on the verge of death, they will have a little like ghost icon next to them. Oh, is it Sunday? Uh, or is it Saturday? I can't tell. Um, they will have a little ghost icon, like, flying around them. Um, and they are on the verge of death. And then if you press, like, any button, they will be rushed to the hospital in an ambulance <laughs> and then come back and then be kind of mad at you and then, and then be happy. So if you catch it in time, they won't die. Uh, but if you don't catch it in time, they will die. Blue Feather, yeah! It is ready for me, but I, I'm not ready to give up my bachelor life yet. I need to keep dating the girls. Um, yeah, I'm devout. Okay. Are there ta Tamagotchi purists who only buy new ones of their old ones die? No, I don't think so. Nobody's rich enough for that, I think. Tamag Tam Tamagotchis die so easily. I'm gonna talk to you. What do you have to say? Are you asking if I don't go to church? God is everywhere and he is nowhere, you know. Hee hee hee. Whoa. 
That's intense. Um, no, I don't think I don't. I I don't think there are anybody there's anybody out there unless they're very very wealthy. <laughs> Tamagotchi's die so so easily. So that is actually one of the questions I get a lot from people who aren't familiar with Tamagotchis. They're like, if you die, do you have to buy a new one? And I'm like, no. Because if I did, I would have no money left. Um, and the second most asked question from people uh, when they hear that I collect Tamagotchis, they say, do you, ha you, ha you have over a hundred Tamagotchis? Do you have them all on at the same time? And I'm like, no, I would die. I would die from all the beeping. And I would literally have no time for anything else. I would be running like a 12 hour per day daycare. What if I started a Tamagotchi daycare business and people would drop off their Tamagotchis before they go to work and I would just take care of them all day? Do you think people would pay money for that? Uh, oh, it's Sunday. So Eve is not gonna be at the bar. Maybe just go to sleep. I would have to move to a city where there are many Tamagotchi owners. I have to move to a city where in the United States or in the world are there the most Tamagotchi owners. I will find them and I will run a business. Ah, uh, it's not ready yet. Okay. Time to go to sleep. We are almost to winter. A couple more days. Go. Speeding through fall. Okay, sunny tomorrow. What day is it today? 25th of fall. Okay. Almost there. We're almost there. Dog. Nope. Milk. Is this like a... Am I crazy? Is this this is a different milk than I originally was getting from from my cow, right? Is this like medium milk? Do they have like are there milk sizes in this game? The wiki. Wiki, tell me. There is. Oh. Ah. It's probably the medium. Okay. Oh the Oh, there are small milk, medium and large milk. Cool. Oh my gosh, my baby cow is so cute. She's so small. This is like baby baby version, right? Because like the one that I bought was when I bought Moo, she was a little bit bigger than this. Interesting. He's so cute. What would you do if somebody tried dating you by giving you an egg every day? Would you be pleased? Or not pleased? I think I would kind of... I think I would kind of like it. It would be like, is it boiled or raw? I guess it's raw. I mean, I'm giving Anne raw eggs every day. But it's like, they're not overstaying their welcome. They're thinking about me every day. They're taking the time to come over to me. I don't have to go to them. They're just saying hi and giving me an egg. It's like the perfect amount of like respectful interaction. If people randomly gave me gifts every day, I'd find them pretty endearing. <laughs> Very pleased. Eggs are expensive in this economy. I would 
give it a chance. Like, damn, you having the effort to give me an egg every day sure got my attention. Oh, okay. So we're like all in agreement. I mean, I guess that's to be expected for people who like playing Harvest Moon. <laughs> We've all been like raised on this. The Harvest Moon taught us how to date, I guess. So maybe it makes sense. I I should maybe I should change it up, but I I literally have nothing else to give Anne. I have milk and I have eggs. I have no other objects I can provide. Your heart up yet? Six. Okay, still at six. Talk to the girls. Hello. Hello. Do you like sweets? Yeah. We have Eve is here. It's a Monday. We saw her last Monday in the square. Okay, so she's here on Mondays too. Okay. Right. Grab some mushrooms. I feel like, I feel like this wiki needs pictures of the, of the small, medium, and large milk sprites. I, I always have this fantasy of being like a really awesome Wikipedia, like wiki contributor to like the fandoms I'm in <laughs> and I never follow through on it. I'm like, oh, I could be like the wiki person in the Harvest Moon fandom. Or like, uh, uh, what was the other thing I was thinking about? Oh, pets, like the pets ge video game series, computer game series. I'm like, oh, I could fill out the wiki pages for pets. And I never do it. Like my dream way of contributing to the community. Like I'm good at writing stuff down. On the Tamagotchi wiki, I could do that too. Is there time? What time is it? Three o'clock. Okay. Ooh, I have 30k already? Wow. You have to know so much, yeah. And I actually don't know what the uh like the proper protocol is for editing a wiki page. Cuz I think like technically you can go in and edit whatever, but like the people who are already like the wiki people for a particular wiki will like I don't know, they'll like review it and like be mad at you if it's not correct or something. Uh oh, didn't make it in time. Yeah, you have to know a lot. I mean, I, it's probably not a bad thing to just go in there, in there, and like change one thing, like one little thing, right? Like I could like edit this cow's Harvest Moon wiki page and just add like pictures, maybe. I don't know. Wiki writers fight all the time. Yeah, that's like a that's like a thing. So thankfully, I think the fandoms I'm interested in are probably not that big, <laughs> which is why we don't have very good wiki pages. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I could assert myself, take the seat of power, and now everyone will be arguing with me instead. Um, but one, uh, the wiki that I always think of as like the coolest wiki I've ever seen is the Grand Blue Fantasy wiki. It is so fancy. It is the fanciest wiki I've ever, ever seen. And like everybody uses it. It has like the, the most up to date, um, information and is like, it's styled really fancily. I don't know how they do it. I, I don't know how to explain it. Oh gosh, they because Grand Blue Fantasy has all this like this like element system and like uh, these are not fully grown yet. I think has this element system and like lots of different kinds of items and all that and like every possible weapon in the game you can get like has a wiki page. 
and like the elements are all like like everything's like color coded and like clickable so if you want to like s filter by like a thing by an element filter a category by an element you can like click on it and like filters it all and then like displays it nicely they have like tier lists on the wiki and like all the characters have like nice little icons it's like super clean the biggest fandoms have the fanciest wikis yeah i believe it assert power in the harvest moon fandom wiki yeah maybe i could Maybe that's my fantasy, usurping power on a wiki. My nerd fantasy. Okay. Go. Hey, okay, Sunny again. What day is it? 26th. Oh my gosh, I have so much money. If you see the League of Legends wiki, it's surreal. Oh my gosh, I believe it though. That seems like, yeah, that seems like a fandom that would have very organized things. That's cool. I, I guess League of Legends has been around for a while, so it makes sense it's wiki wiki based. One of one of my pet peeves is when a when a fandom has no wiki, but they have a lot of like video tutorials about their about the game. Um it's specific to games, but like like for, for a while I played uh Round Rock eternal love it's like the mobile version of ragnarok online um and it's kind of complicated and it's sort of janky but i i actually really like the story in the mobile game um even though the translation is like completely butchered but you can kind of understand what's going on um i played it for a long while because i like the i liked the main story quests but um there is literally no up-to-date information about how to play the game and they like put out updates all the time so if you find like old Reddit posts or whatever about how to like do a particular thing in the game, it's almost always outdated, but there's tons of people who make videos for it. So if you want the latest information, you have to like go on YouTube and like watch something for like five minutes to understand how to do a thing. But there's no like wiki. So you can't just like Google for stuff. You just kind of have to like keep watching videos and hope that the video that you clicked on has the information that you want. And that makes me sad. But I guess videos are the modern, modern day thing, I suppose. I ironically love how the canon explanation for J JP dinos being inaccurate. JP? Oh, Jurassic Park dinos, not Japanese dinos. <laughs> inaccurate is, well, the frog DNA we used to make them got rid of the feathers. Oh. Confession, the only thing I know about LOL is that it made my roommate very mad and the KDA music video is top tier. That is about as much as I know also. I fortunately did not have a League of Legends roommate. The Japanese of their own canon dinosaurs. Um, yeah, fortunately I never had a League of Legends roommate. Um, my husband did play it for a little while, actually, because um, some of our friends got into it. Um, well, they they had been into it, and then they recently kind of like had time to get back into it again, and then they were like, they're like, hey, do you guys want to play League of Legends with us? And I was like, no, no. And then my husband's like, maybe, I guess I'll give it a try. And then he was, for like a month, he was like watching YouTube videos about strats and like looking at tier lists and all this stuff. But, uh, but, uh, no, he never, he never molded. He was pretty calm about it. But, um, the people he was playing with sometimes it got kind of, <laughs> got kind of cranky. <laughs> Uh, but the KDA music video is also is very cool. I remember watching that and I was like, I don't even know what this is, but it looks awesome. Oh, and there's actually the I think this is League of Legends. Isn't there like a magical girl like alternate universe thing or maybe it's the regular universe? There, there's like some magical girl storyline or something, right? And there's like a visual novel. 
One of my friends is telling me about this. Roommate was seething every night. Oh god. I hope they I hope they figured out a way to to have a healthy relationship with League of Legends. Yeah, there's a there's like some kind of I think it was like an event. It was like temporary. Maybe it was like April Fools or something. But there was like a magical girl like visual novel event for League of Legends, I think. I think it was League of Legends. I might be confusing it for a different game. I don't know. I hope not. But I, I remember somebody told me, like showed me screenshots, like they were playing it. And one of my friends was like sending me screenshots and I was like, that looks really cool actually. And there's like a dramatic, like magical girl storyline. And I was like, oh, I could, I could get into that. I like magical girl, dramatic magical girl storylines. All my friends play League of Legends, but I haven't heard the magical girl thing. Ah, oh, maybe I'm getting it confused with a different game. Sounds like it could be a Toho thing. Hmm. I think, no, I, th I specifically was like, it was like a game that didn't match the concept. It was like some kind of multiplayer game. And then they had this magical girl thing, which is like totally not related to the main game. And the art style was sort of like, it was less anime and it was more like a Western art style is what I remember from the screenshots I saw. Yeah, maybe it was a different game. Does it sound familiar? I don't, I think it was like fairly big. Cause I, I think like every now and then I see, they must've made like skins or something based on it. Or maybe like an animation. Cause I, I saw it again in a different form later, like maybe on just Twitter. But I can't remember what it was that made it come up again. Maybe it wasn't League of Legends. What, what, what's the other famous game that's kind of like League of Legends, but is not League of Legends? Isn't there like another famous one? Another, uh, what are they called? MOBAs? Another MOBA? There are a few. Dota? Dota or StarCraft coming away. Was it? I don't think it was Dota. Because Dota, from what I remember, doesn't have like... It's not particularly famous for like character stories and stuff. Hmm. Oh no, I forgot to feed my cow! Can't remember. I'm gonna have to look this up later. But it was like very pink and like... Like the girl character had like a star wand and was just very extremely magical girl. And then there was like an evil, I guess another character who was like playing the villain and she had like a cool costume on. And I was like, oh, kind of want to check that out. I thought, I thought League of Legends has some, like, they have some pretty cool, like, story stuff, right? Like, didn't they come out with some kind of Netflix series or something based on one of their characters or a couple of their characters? And I remember people telling me, like, oh, it was so, like, good. It's like an animated thing. It has the girl with the blue hair, the braided hair. Arcane, is that what it's called? People love that show. Yeah, I hear. I keep hearing about it, and I'm like, should I play? Le and I, oh, I remember asking my friend. I was like, should I play League of Legends so I understand the show? And they were like, do not. <laughs> They're like, do not, do not start this path. You can just watch the show. Just watch the show. Jinx. Yes, that's her name. That is her name. Yeah, I thought it was from that same. 
Uh, it's, it's not the same storyline, but I, I think the Magical Girl thing was also League of Legends? I don't know. Um, but a similar thing ha happened to me with Overwatch, too, because apparently Overwatch also has some really good character stories, and I was like, should I play Overwatch? But I'm, like, so... I have... I'm just so, like little interest in like playing overwatch i just i just don't like i don't know i can't like i'm not motivated to play those kinds of games i guess for whatever reason but i want to know the story i guess i could just w read the wiki or something that's funny lol gets such a bad rap that people will caution you not to play yeah like my my friends repeatedly have been like or like well this one friend i i have one good friend who like has played it quite a bit. I don't I don't think he plays it like a lot anymore, but um he kind of keeps up with it. And he'll tell me about like like oh like this thing came out and it's like a really cool story and then I'll be like, "Should I play?" and he's like, "No, don't. <laughs> Do not fall in the rabbit hole." And then um the same friends that um got my husband to start playing with them when they asked me, they're like, "Oh, Joy, do you want to do you want to join us? And I was like, no. And they're like, I promise we're not that toxic. We're not going to be toxic. We're like only a little bit aggressive. And I was like, <laughs> no, I, I do not want even a little bit of toxic. Thank you, but have fun. So, so even, even the people who want, want you to play, they're, they're sort of like self-aware. <laughs> Overwatch is cool, but the game is pure chaos. Yeah, I'm sure that's why some people like it. Like, fast thinking, fast reflexes. I'm bad at that. I tried to install it once after being told to play it. It failed and I never tried the game. Tried again. Bliss. <laughs> maybe, uh, yeah, maybe that's for the best. Yeah, I just I just want to minimize the amount of time I'm being yelled at for playing games. Oh my god! I wasted it! I don't know why I always pick up this third mushroom. I never make it back in time. It's just an exercise in futility. Can I make it? No. The answer is no. <laughs> I do want to, I think I've talked about this on stream though, I do want to um, try playing StarCraft someday. Um, I think that would be a really fun like video series or stream series or something because my, my, my husband's like pretty good at it. He's been playing since he was really young um, and he like keeps up with it. Like he keeps up with all the current strats and the like updates and the like historical best practice like plays and things like that. So he's like pretty good at it. And so I think it would be kind of a funny series for me to learn from scratch from him how to play StarCraft <laughs> and then see if I can like beat like a rando on the ladder, like a rando online. And that that's like my, my graduation test. I think something like that would be really funny. Cause I, I don't know, I've like slowly kind of learned all the, like the units. Cause I, I do occasionally watch Starcraft, uh, tournaments with my husband. Cause I actually find them kind of fun to watch. They, it feels like watching sports anime <laughs> cause they like make it really dramatic. And like, um, a lot of these players have been playing for like years and years cause it's such an old game. Um, and so they have a lot of history together. So like the, the commentators, will be like, oh, like, you know, the, these people, you know, this guy is like the best in the world at, you know, this playing this particular race. And like this person, like historically has been very bad at like playing against these kinds of strategies and how will they fare? So there's like enough historical data that people can say stuff like that, which I think is really kind of cool. And there's like certain rivalries and like the players all kind of like our friends, but like also kind of rivals. So, you know, there's some banter that happens. So I actually really like watching StarCraft. Um, I don't think I'm big brain enough to like play it on my own, but I think if it was for the sake of comedy, I would, I would learn. 
Um, and I've, I've learned some of the unit names, but I call them like funny things because I can't remember what they're actually called. Um, I call the, uh, what are they called? Like the flying bat things? I call them, I call them flying bat things because <laughs> I can't remember their name. Oh, Mutilus. That's what they're called. They look like, I don't know what they look like to me. They look like flying rectangles with teeth. But I think something like that would be fun. Maybe it's a concept something. Maybe somebody's done that concept before? I don't know. StarCraft is 100% intimidating. The only game I ever played com competitively was Melee. Ooh. That's like a very... That's, that's also a very like like thriving competitive scene though. Um, I know about wave dashing and that's, that's all. <laughs> that's all I know about like anything. That's all I know about play beyond casual play. <laughs> and I remember as uh, a kid, I was like, what's wave dashing? And then I like looked it up and I was like, I'm going to try it. And then I tried it for like 10 minutes. And then I was like, okay, I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> I don't get it. I think it's really cool that M Melee is still like pretty, from what I understand, I actually am not 100% sure. It's it's still a pretty thriving competitive scene. Um, and the fact that like people still use GameCube controllers to play, I think is pretty cool. So there's like, there's like, demand for new GameCube controllers. <laughs> what was everyone's main in Melee? Or Brawl if you've never played Melee. Or or Ultimate, I guess, if you've never played Brawl. <laughs> I have buddies who still play. I fell out of it after COVID, unfortunately. Ah, well, I'm sure it'll still be around for a long time. It'll be ready for you to come back. I'm not that old. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, is playing Melee as a kid can be considered old now? Oh no. Oh no. Um, I was... I think I played Fox. I always chose Fox. And then... After a while, I I played Fox and Sh Sheik. And then after a while, I switched to... Link, I think. GameCubes are old! They're old, I guess. Um, and then my- oh, it's funny because, um, so me and my siblings, we all- we all played Smash. Um, which was great because we had people to play against at home. So I was- I was Fox and Sheik for a while, and then I chose Link. And then eventually I switched to Kirby. Because, I don't know, I'm baby. Uh... And I like the infinite jumping, the pseudo infinite jumping. And then my sister played. Oh, who did she play? My young, my youngest sister played Marth. I think. And then I think my middle sister also played a fire, also made a fire emblem character, but I can't remember now. I should ask them if they remember. Melee came out 22 years ago? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so long ago. It was like, um... When I was playing the Barbie game yesterday, that came out in what, like 1998? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Sorry, not really. Oh! Whew. It was a lie, thank god. Oh no, you're saying it's not that long ago? I feel like it's a long time. That's like, like anything over twenty years feels like a long time ago. Oh, it did not. It, it did come out twenty-two years ago. Okay, 
but it's not that long ago is what you're saying. I see. It's funny is that because I played Melee so long, I, see, I still have a CRT just in case. Oh, cool. But that, that means you can play all sorts of like retro games and stuff. That's a problem for me because I, I want to get a PS2 eventually. But I don't have anything that a PS2 can plug into. So I'd have to buy like a converter thing or get a CRT TV. Um, I used to have a TV that could take like the um, composite video, but uh, I, I think I got rid of it when I graduated from grad school. So over 14 and she used to play your piece too. Ooh. Me and my buddies and I was gl would gladly hunt for CRT VAs. Oh my goodness. Don't tell my husband you're giving me ideas. He's uh he has like a grudging respect for my uh my retro hobbies, but if I told him I wanted to bring home a CRT v CRT, he would be like, "Do we have to? It's so big. Where are you going to put it?" I'd be like, "I don't know." my desk maybe 14 inches way too heavy <laughs> yeah those things are huge 32 inch crt oh my god living in luxury oh my gosh okay we're almost there we're almost to winter Okay. Get a tiny one was perfect for turning play because it was m mobile. Ooh. That sounds cute, actually. Actually, do do people make like like you can you obviously can find like vintage vintage CRTs that are just like in you know, you can just find somewhere, but oops. Can do people make like reproduction CRTs that are like I don't know have fe like modern features and stuff I wonder if that's a thing like a little mobile CR like just a little mobile thing but it just happens to take composite input I wonder if that is a thing I feel like retro games are popular enough that somebody must have made that So I guess, I guess because of the way CRTs work, it would have to be big if it was going to be actual. So if it's going to be like a small portable thing, it would basically have to emulate, like, not, not literally emulate, but like fake the, fake the CRT effect, I guess. But, and then it just has like a converter inside. And then you can just like carry it around. So it wouldn't be as good, I suppose. Unfortunately, no. CRTs are expensive now because pe people caught on that melee, melee players want them. Oh. <laughs> I see. Ain't that the problem now? People have realized that people want retro stuff now because of all all us millennials grew up and now we have a, now we have disposable income and a lot of nostalgia. Now Tamagotchi prices are going up, out the roof. Up the roof? Is it out the roof or up the roof? CRT is analogic, every, and everything analogic is impossible to emulate digitally. Yeah, you'd basically have to fake it to try to get a similar effect, but it wouldn't be real, right? You'd need the actual, like, cathode ray tubes or whatever. Unless you- through the roof! <laughs> It's through the roof. Oh boy. Unless you go to a thrift store, it's still 10 to 15 bucks. Ooh. <gasps> Seven hearts. Excellent. Oh no. You all are making me want a CRT now. Where would I put it? 
I could mount it on the wall. And it would be like a Persona 4 sculpture. Maybe if I disguise the CRT as a per Persona 4 merch, I could bring it into the house. And my husband would be like, oh, Persona 4 merch. That makes sense. And I'll be like, yeah. It's just nerd merch. You like Persona 4, don't you? The perfect crime. My favorite visual at tourneys is an intense match happening on a small Dizzy Princess CRT. Cute. You wouldn't hide a CRT from your <laughs> would you? I don't think I could hide a CRT even if I wanted to. <laughs> There's no place to put it. It's just so huge. They're just like, it's like, what is that cubed shape thing in your, in your bag? Nothing. It looks suspiciously like a TV. And I'd be like, oh, come on. Where would I get an old TV like that? You think I have an old TV in this bag? Nah. And like, well, what is it? Um, a really square box of donuts. Your TV. <laughs> Someday I'll get three mushrooms in the shipping box, but today is not that day, apparently. Uh, are these grasses ready to cut? Boy, you ate a CRT. Your body is strangely <laughs> shaped like one. It's not a TV. It's a cathode ray tube device. Oh yeah, that'll uh that'll fool him. My husband is very smart. He will uh he'll catch on, I'm pretty sure. Let's go to the bar. I think we just have two more days after this one till winter. And then we'll play like one day of winter just to just to get a taste. I wish the bar was closer to my house. Actually, no, I don't. Because the night is eternal, so actually it's good that this is the closest, the closest thing. Still five. I need to get Anne one more heart and then I will start working on Ellen, I think. They're kind of in a similar spot. Most days, it seems like. Hello, dog. So, no, I need to swap out my... You swap my tools out before the, before the day comes. People think we're dumb now, but they decide to call movies movies as in they move. Uh They still they still move. Cathode ray tube device, CRT device, movies, move. What am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm, I am kind of, it's been like three hours, so maybe my brain is shutting down, so it's good we're coming up in the end here. <laughs> I brought this, like, I have this Starbucks drink next to me that I... I brought with me to stream 
I haven't even, I've like barely drunk it because I've been talking so much and now it's all warm. I'm sad. You can imagine that 12 hour stream now is just me being speaking gibberish. I'd have to like, like no joke, if I ever do a long hour stream like that, I think I would need to prepare like a list of talking points because <laughs> I think I would just run out of run out of things to say and then I would get really awkward because I can't think of things. 12 hours would just be a few dream movies move. Car saying, haha, I love my cat. Yeah, that would basically be it. 12 hours would be a fever dream. They used to call movies that had sound talkies because they talk. Ooh, I think I've heard of that. I wonder why talkies, talkies lost, lost out on being a, like a term that people use. Like kind of, kind of a side note. That's, that's another thing about human society that I think is really interesting about how like language evolves and like referential things continue. Like one example being, um, like the talkies thing is one example. Like obviously people knew what it meant back then, but if you said it today, nobody would know what you're talking about. And then the other thing being like the save icon that you see on like every computer program. Like it's just an iconic save icon. But like not, I don't think people today, like younger people, they necessarily know that it's based off of a floppy disk and like that's why it means save like this is like this is a visual representation of like what storage meant to people in like the 90s and early 2000s A lot of Photoshop icons are the exact same too. Yeah. Cinema used to be people's entertainment, not, not refined or rich enough. Oh, interesting. With time, cinema has surpassed the popularity of theaters. And the term talkies was considered way too simple and rough. Movies had more of a commercial catch. Oh, interesting. So it was shaped by capitalism. By many things. Like, just like many things. That's the world we live in. I saw a viral post about exactly that. Someone not knowing what the save icon meant. Oh, really? That's funny. I, I did see... I don't know if this is the same viral post as you're thinking of. There, there was one by, like, a Japanese Twitter user who, like... Uh, I don't remember exactly what it said. I think it was something like there was some survey in Japan about like, like where they asked like younger like teenagers what this save icon was showing and a lot of them said it was like a vending machine because it looks like a little vending machine with the little opening at the bottom. Um, and I made a comic about it actually. I just remembered now. But um, yeah, that was that was the that was the viral post I remember seeing. People thinking it was a vending machine. Oh, and also the argument that came up when I okay, so this is in the comic, so you can read the comic if uh, if if you can find it. But um, when I was talking to my when that post went viral, I showed it to my husband. And um and then he said I showed him the screenshot that was in the the Twitter user's post and it showed like a picture of this the save icon. And then he said, "Why is the floppy the floppy disk upside down though?" And I was like, "What? That is not upside down. That is right side up." And he's like, "That's upside down." And then we had a long argument about what the top of the floppy disk is. And to me, the metal side is down. That's the correct orientation of a floppy. But he thinks that the metal side is up, and that's the correct orientation for a floppy disk. Yeah, that was my comic. So uh, I'm curious to know what people think. I, I, I'm like hardcore metal side down. Metal side is up? <gasps> you and Mike's, we cannot be friends anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Well, my husband will be very glad to know that he has a, a, a fellow comrade in his corner. That's interesting. We have a huge problem here. Oh, no. Interesting. You know, that's so interesting that, like, that's such a... I, I feel like that's not a thing that gets talked about a lot, is, like, whether people think floppy disks are, like, which side is right side up or upside down, but apparently it seems like it's, like, a very equally divisive thing. It's been so long that I have no clue anymore. You definitely store the metal side down for exact reason you said so you can write on the label and easily flip through them. Yeah, that's my, that's what I'm saying. I have it saved. Oh, thank you for enjoying my comic. Yeah, it was, it was quite a while ago. It must have been three years ago now or something like that. I think I drew it during COVID. Can't remember. I don't know if that means up or not. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it just in my mind, if if I were to, if somebody were to hand me a piece of paper and said, draw a floppy disk, I would draw it with the top, the like non-metal side on the top and the middle side down. I don't know. I reread it. Your husband is just wrong. <laughs> okay, Greg's on my side. But anyway, if you want to start an argument with your friends, this is a good question to ask them. Um, with the caveat that they're old enough to... I don't know how old y'all are, but like if, if you and your friends are old enough to remember floppy disks, this is a good question to ask your friends to start an argument. <gasps> it's winter tomorrow. Okay, let's do one day of winter and then we will end the stream. A good bar conversation and then just like, oh, just a straight up fight breaks out <laughs> because you ask the question and like things are getting thrown and drunk people are punching each other. August 2019 is the date from when you're sleeping. Oh, okay. I did it quite a while ago. Pretty cool. Now the weather forecast for tomorrow's snow. Oh, check out the sad music. It says so on the comic. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. You know what? This is a thing I've always wondered. Do I need to bring my dog inside during days when it's not actively snowing? Or is it... Is it fine to leave him out here? I'm at the age where we still use floppy disks, but it was on its way out, so it's blurry. Ah, let's see. Yeah, I used floppy disks in school. I remember. It was like how we would like, like you write like a paper for school and then you would put it on your floppy disk and bring it to school to like print out. I, it was like essential. And like everybody had like one. And some people would like decorate theirs. It's sort of like USB drives. And then and then when USB drives came, became a thing, that was that that got replaced. But uh I brushed my cow, I can't remember. The music is so sad. Why is Harvest Moon winter music so sad all the time? Uh okay. Bed. Hello, chickens. I also have your wedding invitation co comic. I wish I saw more colored ones like that. Oh, you know, I, I experimented with. I, I've thought about experimenting with more colored comics, but I don't know. It just takes so much. I'd rather. I struggle so much to like draw comics at all nowadays, <laughs> but I do wish I could make them look nicer. I don't know. I think people would enjoy them more maybe if they were like a little, just a little bit nicer looking. Not too, not too neat. Cause I think the messiness is kind of appealing or at least for me, but I think a little bit of color would be nice. I don't know. It was really pretty. Oh, thank you. I did spend some time trying to make it like I don't know. They're gonna be, they're gonna be wedding invites after all. So I had to make them look a little nice. Scrungliness, thank you. I'm glad the scrungliness is appreciated. It was all USBs for us by the time we wrote papers and computers. <gasps> my egg disappeared. There's a horse, but my egg disappeared. A calf. This is not a calf. All right, I name it. Where's my egg? I hope I still have it. <gasps> what do I name my horse? I will name you 
I will name you... I will name you Star after my horse from Barbie Riding Club. Your name is Star now. Yes. Perfect. Horse! I love the way they are now, but special ones like that on special occasions are nice. My egg is gone! My egg is gone! No! I need an egg for and Let's start over. This little fellow be bloody useful, mark my words. Oh yeah, there's like some kind of uh... We will... Re there's some kind of shipping thing? Or like you can ship with the horse or something? I remember something like that. Oh my god. Oh, I have to do all the chicken stuff again. Okay, let's go get the horse first. Rip. Rip. Egg. He's so naked. He's so small. He has no clothes. Where did you come from, little guy? You need warmth. Okay, so I don't need to feed my horse, right? I just need to brush the horse, I think. Okay, come on in, little guy. Make yourself at home. Uh, oh, there you are. Can I talk to you? Brush the horse. Okay. Now, chicken time. Wow, I got my horse! So exciting! That'll save a lot of time in year two, I guess. But who's who's just letting a horse roam around? Oh, I guess I guess wild horses are a thing, aren't they? This is so dramatic. The music is so dramatic. And it's always it's always this like accordion music. Or I, I think Harvest Moon 64 also had like sad accordion music. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we have an egg to give to my beloved. Blue feathers back. Whoa, everyone's schedule is different. Oh no, it's Sunday, isn't it? Ah, uh, who are you? I've come with an offering to my wife, future wife. What do you got to say? Okay. Talking to girls. Let's pray. Okay. Oh gosh, what do I do? What do I do in winter? I have no... Is there anything to forage in the mountain? Blue feather, waiting for me. Let's explore. Let's look around. What's going on in here? Oh, it's frozen. Frozen pond. Tornado sirens going off, so if I die, just know I had so many more Pokemon cards for you. Oh no! Beanie, don't die. Please don't die. Joking, but for real, I hate storms so much. I mean, I that is completely fair and understandable. Winter, you do nothing and everything. Mm, mysterious. Oh, there's herbs in here. I guess I can ship these. Okay, let me let me go back and look. Let me go back and look outside. Okay, stay safe, Beanie. Stay stay dry, stay safe. Oh, hey, Eve. Just chilling in the snow, I guess. You're pretty daring, aren't you? Shall I wash your back? Oh my god! N no. 
JJ, would you accept my presence if I was dead? You can't say no to gifts of a dead person. Hey, I'm just kidding. Oh, I got baited by Eve. I mean, if it was your dying wish, I would accept your Pokemon cards, I guess, but uh, don't do that. Oh, Nina's here too. Okay, the girls are up here in the winter. I heard there was a secret garden in the ranch. Is it so? I want to go see it. Okay. Wow, I can hardly wait. Yeah. It's my Powerberry garden, I think, is what she's talking about. Uh, oh. It, it, it. To the top. Okay, so this is the part where I would plant the secret flower for the seed that I did not get, so I think I've screwed myself out of a perfect game. But that's okay. We'll just enjoy the experience. Okay, so let me time travel back since we have mapped out the uh are the girls gonna not be here at five o'clock hmm are they gonna leave okay let's go to the let's try to ship some things herbs Herbs. What kind of herbs are these? These always look like, um, I don't know, like, like cooked spinach to me. With like sesame seeds on them. They don't really look like herbs to me, but apparently they're herbs. Cave herbs. There we go. Can I get another one in time? No. Okay. We shipped one herb. Good haul today. Oh no, are the girls gone? Where are the girls? Girls, where are you? You still here? Eve is gone. Nina's gone. Grandpa's gone. Okay. Uh, let's see if they're in town. Okay, so it's good to remember that Nina is here during the day. Uh, oh no, but it's Sunday, so maybe it's like a special special day. So the bar's not going to be open. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And then it's gonna snow tomorrow, it said, so I guess I'll bring my dog inside. Cause I guess, I think that counts as weather. Um, how are we doing? Wow, we almost have 40K. Very good. Sunday, first of winter. Okay. We did it. We made it to winter. Um, made a lot of progress today. Thank you for hanging out. Well, we're on the stream here. It was so much fun chatting. Um, it's nice to do these like just qu chill kind of chatting game streams uh, every once in a while. And I can always I can play for longer on these Sundays because I stream in the afternoons. Um, so it's nice to just kind of sit and hang out. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Um, so, yeah. Um, we will, I'll keep streaming next weekend. Um, I'm probably going to start my first full Harvest Moon stream. I can sleep easy. Oh, they, I'm so glad you finally made it. Thanks for coming by. Uh, I'll probably start Outer Wilds DLC next weekend. So I might do like one Harvest Moon day, one Outer Wilds stream next weekend. And then an art stream. If I, uh, manage to get, um, I want to do some work on an off stream and then, if I manage to do that, then I'll do an art stream on Sunday. Um, so yeah, that's roughly the plan, unless I get obsessed with an idea like I did with Barbie Riding Club and then totally change my mind. But I don't think that will happen. Um, cool. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Oh, I need to finish the Outer Wilds DLC then. Oh, okay. No, no rush. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, I will see you next weekend and have a good week, everybody. Have a good week! We'll be back to explore winter, what winter has in store for us soon. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye!
been. Bye. Where's my mouse? Where's my outro button? Here we go. Bye. Bye.